Hello. Hey. Guys. hey. Are, are we excited? Right. Are we nervous? Please. Oh, incredibly. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, let's get this going then. Arms are heavy, right. knees weak, palms are sweaty. There's vomit on my sweater already. <laughs> Listen, I haven't I haven't streamed in in like a year. Like I'm. But I'm we, you little... streamed last Black Party. It's been eight months. You got this. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, remember you drew like five fucking drawings, including Sex Man? I did. Shit was awesome. I was, dude, I was I'm on fire. the ball. I <laughs> was so on the ball. No pressure at all. <laughs> all right. No pressure Let's... at all. All right. One minute, I'll nuke all the other channels. Okay. Cool. And they'll just flood in here like the fucking oh, plague. Please. Let me fucking find like the most amazing dog. Please. That fucking, that fucking dog that Dawn linked is just it, it's it's Yeah, and I guess where like I found them. Guess where I fucking found them. I found them on Tumblr. The most amazing <laughs> site ever. <laughs> T what are you talking about? Tumblr banned porn. Now we don't have to be like plagued with sin or anything. Yeah. No wieners to look at. Thank Oh, thank God. No video. Here they come. Ready? Three, two, one. Activate. Let's fucking go! I didn't even tell anybody. They're just flooding in already. All right. All right. All right. Nice. Hello. Hello, stream. Oh. Are you ready? Hey, guys. Ready to learn. <laughs> hey, guys. Okay. Okay, we're starting. Yeah. Okay. The uh, mega powers are here. <laughs> yeah, let's let's wait. Let's wait a little bit longer, just so you know we get more viewers. Because it has sure been less than sixty don't... seconds. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't want anybody to miss out on this. <laughs> <laughs> this whole chat is filled. <laughs> oh, oh my god! How many? Oh, that's a lot of people. No Hello. Pressure. Actually, oh no. I do. I want to see how many viewers are here. Oh. no. That's a lot. It can only fit up to a hundred, so there's a oh, hundred at no. least. So. <laughs> there's a hundred people oh, here, no. and uh, uh, where's the YouTube link? Let me check the YouTube link. <laughs> well, YouTube, YouTube's got sixty, so not a big deal, right? Yeah, yeah. So like at least one hundred sixty. One hundred sixty, just watching you, no big deal. Yeah, no. Okay, problem. so I guess. I guess if we're like maxed out, I guess if we're filled out, uh, I guess we we, you know, there's no use in waiting. I guess we should start. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the I got the notes. We we took notes, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Okay. By the yeah. way, uh, just as a just as a little fun fact for this stream, I've been I've been wanting to phase out the the cube avatar for a while, but uh. My girlfriend actually called me an idiot because I, I drew a promo image for us and I just made myself a black cube and she was like, dude, what the hell? And I'm like, what? And she's like, dude, it's, it looks so weird that Oolong is just like, he's got his arm wrapped around and hugging just a blank cube. Put, put a face on him. Come on. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was wondering that because it was posted as like just a weird cube with like lines on it and then you changed it to your persona. <laughs> like... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I, how much I want him to be my persona anymore. But you know, we don't. We, we don't need to talk about that because yeah. we're here. We're here today to talk about one subject. Yeah. We're gonna talk about character design. Oh yeah. Designing a character. Yeah. And yeah. specifically, what we are going to be talking about, because we, you know, character design is a really huge subject like i could spend just weeks talking about all the nuance all the techniques all the different theories and ideas that surround character design but today we're talking we're going to talk about one specific part of character design and it's one that i feel pretty strongly about and it's one that i think will help people get into taking character design more seriously you know thinking about it as like a skill that can be honed you know a, a way to make money a way to do all sorts of things advertise tell a story have fun there's so many applications for character design so today we are going to talk about coming up with ideas 
and oh. turning those ideas into character designs. Yep. And um, I would say on my stream, I'm going to be posting some examples. Like I've I've got prepped up, but like um, we we're we're both going to be having stuff to show. Is, yeah. Uh, this is just this is just what we do on the regular. Uh, but I will uh give you guys a bit of a a bit of a teaser because we're not going to be just talking the entire time. We're going to be giving a bit of a crash course lecture. We're going to be talking about character design, hopefully for about thirty minutes. I, I don't really want to talk much longer than that, though. Seeing how the other streams today have been going, we might be talking a lot longer than that. Who knows? But we're going to be doing some demonstrations later on, and we're also going to have a big group activity. Yeah. Yep. We're going to have a, a big group activity that I hope everyone is going to enjoy and have a good time with, because the, it'll mean that we can all draw together. Yeah. We're going to have a big, big, big fun time. Oh, yeah. So, Oolong, would you uh, like to say anything as we begin our talk? Hmm. All right, so I guess I would like to um, bring up a question. Uh, okay. How often would you say you you make a character in one go? Like, 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 like just make a character, like, off the cuff. Uh, uh, just right off the cuff. I'm, that's that's I'm hard, really ain't it? I'm not sure. Yeah, that is really hard. I honestly would say that I don't do that often because i do see character design as a skill and there are ways to tackle this subject uh and i believe this this phrase has been said before and i would like to repeat it that there's no entirely right way to do character design as long as you make a character that looks good and has thought put into it that's pretty much character yeah you, you know that that goes you can do it what me and Oolong are going to be talking about is just one theory that you know we sort of came up with you know we hashed it out we talked about it uh, and we've got ideas but uh i think we've droned on long enough with the introduction i think we could we should get on to the talk i think we should start talking about how to turn an idea into a character design yes let's fucking go here we are so to start off this chat, to start off this discussion, I think we should say that character design has a lot of different applications. You know, you can't really tell a story without a character. Characters are used to sell products. You know, how many fast food restaurants can you think of that have a mascot? You know, how many brands, how many sports teams? You know, that's all character design. Yeah. You know, you can use character design to, to make a logo. You can incorporate a character in a logo. You can put it on a shirt. There's a whole lot you can do with character design, and there's a whole lot of reason why you would want to make a character. One of those reasons is just, you know, you want some OCs. You just want an OC, you know? You just want to cast the characters that you can call your own. And there is nothing wrong with just wanting that. I mean, I'm sure we all have original characters. You know, we're all artists, we're all creative. And since we're creative, we want to make personifications of that creativity. Oh, yeah. And we should also, we should continue this discussion by saying that design in general is the organized translation of an idea. If you're trying to design a building layout, if you're trying to design a website, you need to start with an idea. And part of that idea is purpose. You know, if you're trying to design a website, you know, the idea might be to create uh, a website that's friendly, that's casual, that's you know, clean, you know, friendly, casual, and clean. Those are three concepts that you could use to, you know, you can translate those three concepts into a website. And similarly, 
you can do that with character design. So first of all, you know, what is the purpose? Why do you need a character? You know, is it going to be the main character of a video game? Is it going to be the main antagonist of a movie? Uh, are you just trying to design a mascot for your brand? Because once you know the purpose of why you want or need that character, you can then go on to making a fully fledged out idea. You can come up with an idea that you can then turn into a character. And the way that I see this big overarching idea is that the idea of a character is made up of three smaller ideas. And this is how I approach character design. Whenever I come up with a character, I try to come up with three core concepts or ideas to make up a bigger idea. Because I think three is a good number to make uh, like a main character. If you're designing like a, a, a minor character or even a background character, you can just do like one or two little core concepts. You don't need three. But three, I think you can use three themes, concepts, motifs, patterns to create an interesting dynamic character. And uh, I know Oolong here, he cares a lot about themes when it comes to characters because, uh, you know, having focus is how you can, you know, purposefully turn an idea into a character. And that's why we have those three concepts, those three core ideas that make up a bigger idea, because that gives us focus. Yep. You know. And uh, so, oh yeah, sorry, go on. Yeah, if I can just add to that, like you can come into a, you can come into the, you can come into a situation like this. Like you have an, you have, let's say you have one idea. It's possible to uh, work with that as long as you have some idea of how to add to it, because it's 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 built it's building up into a core design. That's sort of what we're going for here. Yeah, you can start with one core idea, and then you can come up with two more uh, concepts to build off of that main core idea, and that is actually something that I would like to talk, to talk about a little bit because uh, having your core concepts of a character interact with each other can create a character that feels intentional. And that's what you want because that's what design is. That is intentional placement and intentional decisions made to create a character that makes you think of these core concepts. When you look at a character, you should be able to identify the three concepts that make up that character. Or, and of course, you know, I doubt anybody but me and, and Oolong really designs too many characters with this mindset in mind, but this is what I do, and this is how I evaluate character designs, and I think it's worked out for the most part. Oh, it has. <laughs> but yeah, like like an example of like a general idea to create a character off of. Uh, you know, let's come up with three core concepts: uh, skeleton, pirate, and fire. There you go. That's easy. You know, you can look at a character. And you can immediately tell, you know, oh, you know, in fact, let's draw it right now. Let's draw a fiery skeleton pirate. Oh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's super, it's super easy right off the bat. You know, like how, okay, how can I make the viewer think of a skeleton when I, when I look at this design? Well, just make the dude a skeleton you know there you go easy then how do i make him look like a pirate well give him a pirate hat give him a coat give him a blunderbuss and how do i make the audience think of fire well i don't know make 
make one of his eyes shoot fire or actually wait a minute here we go again it, 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 all right all right wait a minute. while you're doing that i'm I th- i'm thinking i'm gonna go a little outside the box here let's see because um when i'm when i'm thrown these three ideas the first question that comes to mind is um how can i push that how can I go wild with that? On honestly, that's something that I need to work on. I feel like a lot of my character designs are actually too safe, because I I try to just do a solid execution of that idea. But you you like to get creative, and that's something I really admire about your designs in particular is that you try to think of ways that you can. I don't know, just do something that hasn't been done before. A lot, a lot of your designs are like that, and I admire that a lot. Oh uh, yeah, it's it, it's like I take I take this first uh, this first step, and uh, I see. I think I think of immediate the immediate first thing in my head when I see hear these three things and something I could push it with. What I thought of is car engine. Now, how can I implement car engine? into this now the thing is is that i would actually argue that uh and this is part of the the process i actually do this often is that you can start with your three core ideas like skeleton uh fire pirate but you could realize that maybe that's not an interesting idea to you maybe maybe you you want to improve that and that is something you can definitely do. You can take an initial idea and improve upon it. So let's say uh, that's actually a perfect example you just gave. You know, I gave you the base prompt, pirate, skeleton, fire. You said, okay, fire. What makes fire or what can make fire? What generates heat? Car engine. So you've changed that theme from fire to car engine, a more specific con- concept that gives more potential t- to play around with different imagery and different symbols to make you think of a car engine. So now it's skeleton pirate car engine. Oh, okay. And potentially, you know, what we could do with the concept of pirate is maybe we want to do something different. You know, what, what can we do? that is related to the concept of pirates, but also related to the concept of car engines. So pirates are kind of rough and tumble, you know, weirdos, right? Yeah. They're, they're kind of, you know, they, they don't play by the rules. They drink alcohol. They smoke cigarettes. They punch people as hard as they can right in the gut. Who else does that? How about bikers? There you go. That's it. <laughs> well, hold on now. May, hold on now, because car engine could be considered imagery that can already be applied to the concept of bikers. So maybe you want to play around a little bit more. Maybe you want to you want to you know do something a little more far away from that base so that you can get a little bit more creative with it, right? Yeah. So let's try to instead think of something that is more related to the concept of skeletons. You know, what is something that is related to skeletons? Wait a minute. Oh. Grim Reaper. Mm. Maybe just, maybe just straight up a, a, a Reaper or maybe a salesman. I don't know. But the, the point is, is that when you're coming up with your three concepts that you want to form the bigger idea of a character, you can just immediately come up with three random concepts and put them together and make an interesting character. You can absolutely do that. In fact, people do that a lot with the uh, the three emoji challenge thing. Because that's actually basically what I'm saying. Yeah. Because <laughs> people you know, on Twitter all the time, they're like, Oh yeah, give me give me three emojis and and I'll make an OC about it. Isn't that fun? And it's like, yeah, that like that's basically my approach to uh to character design. Come up with three concepts and turn a character into it. 
So if you guys have ever done that before, you've done that three emoji challenge, then you don't need to listen to this podcast. We're done. You you pretty much already know what I'm trying to tell you. But no, I'm kidding. But uh, that is definitely something you can do. I definitely think uh, focus and intention is really important in making an interesting character design, uh, an interesting character. Because once you have these concepts relate to each other, the viewer can then like identify the different things of like, oh, he did that because because skeletons are bones and bikers were okay, 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 all right, that's pretty clever. Oh, and the fire, and ah, okay, okay, you know. It always it always feels good as an audience, but especially for me. Like I don't know, whenever I play a video game or watch a TV show, and I see a character with a design that I can identify those concepts, I always feel good. I'm like, all right, that 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 guy knew what he was doing. That's a good character right there. I like that character. Um, and something that I I do want to exercise, I do want to. Uh, talk about is you know having those concepts relate to each other uh and a good exercise a good technique that i like to do uh you know to start off with that if i want to make a clever character design and i want everything to feel like everything was intentional i start off with one basic idea uh or basic concept so i start off with moth we we'll we'll get three We'll get three concepts: moth, fire, and flying. Oh. Uh, the reason why I'm and this is actually a concept that I've thought of before, and I've I've always wanted to make a character with this concept. I just haven't gotten around to it. But you know, you can take those base concepts and then uh, uh, you know change them, have them shift, evolve with your creative process to be more specific, and you have more ammo basically you have more opportunities to invoke ideas and imagery so flying moth flying fire uh what i thought was okay what is something that flies what is something that flies airplane and then i thought okay what what is fire you know what what's something that i can do with fire uh Furnace, engine. We'll go with engine, even though Wulong already brought up engine. We're just gonna go with it because it's easy, and I've already thought about it before. Whatever. Yeah. But then I tried to think. Okay, airplane. How how can I be even more interesting with that? Because right now, okay, a moth shaped like an airplane who has engines that spews out fire. I mean, that's okay. You know, that's that's fine. We you know we've got something there. We could make a, an interesting design. Then I tried to think. Okay, let's take airplane, and let's go further with that. Let's try to make it even more specific. There we go. Oh. And then I thought, mail carrier. Because mail... Because <laughs> mail is often transported, you know, by plane. Packages are often transported by plane. So a moth that uses fire to light their way across the skies at night because they are delivering mail. So instantly you've got function, you've got purpose, you've got an idea, you could you could make something out of that. Oh, you know? We're already getting some uh we're already getting some uh good stuff going on with that. See ya. And the thing is, you know, with that concept, you can then like think about, you know, May possibly a story. Now, preferably, you would have a story and a purpose, you know, in mind before you start designing a character. But you know, you can start up with, you know, you, you could start thinking about things like, okay, why is the moth delivering mail? Then it's like, okay, m maybe the moth is specialized in, in, you know flying at night you know moths are usually active at night they're nocturnal so that's why they're like you know rudolph the red-nosed moth 
Rue Moth, the Red Nose Moth, the, the Red Nose Insect, we need you to deliver our mail at night because you're the best person for the job. There you go. Or y you could come up with something else. You could come up with something like, oh, maybe it's a, a world of insects. You know, maybe, bug's maybe life, you know, you <laughs> a bug's life, if you will. Yeah, we're, we're, we're making a, a bug's life fan character here. You know, <laughs> nah, screw oh, that. Yeah. that sucks. That sucks. I, I know Zen loves uh, Bugs Life, though. He told me in private that it's like his favorite thing ever. He's written like I told you that in confidence. That I've written fanfics for Bugs Life. I mean, I didn't think you were ashamed of it. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm helping. I'm helping you make a character for it. Like, have you read you, them? You have you read me. my fanfics? They're not very good. No, no, I have. They're really good. They are really good. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, you know, so you've got your three your three concepts, you know. You you've come up with an idea. You've you've got a pretty good idea. You've you've come up with three ideas that are interesting, that relate to each other interestingly, and you're already, you know, getting images in your head of like what what you can do, how you can, you know, draw a character that, you know, accurately communicates these three concepts. But you know the 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 process then moves on to wait. How do I do that? How do I take these three ideas, these three themes, uh, these three concepts, and how do I turn them into a character? Ooh, actually, if I can, if I can jump in on that. Oh please! Uh, by all means, jump in whenever you want. I, I I don't want it to be just me talking and blabbering away, even though that's that's what it's been so far. <laughs> don't worry. I, I'll cut in. I'll cut in here and there. Yeah, cut. cut my head off whenever you want to talk. All right. So first, first cut. Yes. So when we're thinking, when we're up to this point where we have the ideas we want to work with, there's something that uh that I think should come into play, and that is actually, you know, research. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that actually relates to inspiration, too. Yeah. So, um, let's say we have three... We, we have... Uh, let's say we, we have, like, one idea. One idea. Like, like, like let's say... Like, let's, let's say it's close to p Halloween. We want to make something pumpkin-related. All right? So, uh, you begin to look up interesting things about pumpkins, like, um, like people often forget that pumpkins are flowering, pl pumpkins can make flowers. And, uh, what's something, what's something else, what's something related to flowers? And, uh, you know, you're thinking of things, you're thinking of things, uh, you know, it's Halloween, I want to make a monster laid to flowers that's also a pumpkin. Oh yeah, and uh, this is uh, an example I have here. So uh, I actually made a pumpkin monster, sort of like one of those uh, one of those flower monsters, but it's a pumpkin. And uh, this is something I did a, I, I did a while back, I think last year. And uh, I'll just bring up the first pass at it because something very important. The first pass isn't always going to be the best one. Yeah, I mean, I tried to make, like, a crown of pumpkins. Like, it, it, there's something here, but it needs fleshing out. And then um, it took me a second. It took me, it took me a little bit, and then I fleshed it out into, into this. It's a lot clearer, a lot more concise. And, uh, you know... There's there's the imagery of the flower there. I, I wanted to wanted to incorporate that better, in sort of the way and like, isn't it all rune? However, they're called one of them. I like I like the contrast between the beginning drawing and this one. This one's a lot more cleaner, and the idea just is way more solid than the other one was. Where the other one felt a little bit more sporadic, with the elements you're trying to capture in it. And this one, it's a lot more concise. Yeah, because sometimes the first that first pass is so important because you need to get the ideas out out of your head onto something you can look at and then rearrange. 
And I think this is something very important to talk about because it does reinforce the idea that, you know, character design is a process. You know, it is not just something... I mean, if you can just, you know, create a gem on the first try, then that's awesome. That's great. But most of the time, if you're doing this for a job or you're doing this for a project, 99% of the time, you are not going to go with your first pass. You know, especially if you're doing this for a show or a game or, or you know, something like that. Most of the time, you are going to do multiple different drafts, multiple different passes of the same idea or similar ideas. You're trying to do, you know, different body types, different ways of drawing certain things, features like, like the nose and the clothing and stuff. You're going to do a bunch of different passes at the same concepts and find out what sticks. Um, even though that's kind of challenging to do, it is a good idea to get used to drawing just a lot of different things, you know, in, in quick succession, because that's the, the more, yeah. yeah, the more drafts you do, the more attempts you do, the closer you'll get to finding something that it's like, yep, that one, that one, that's the one. That's it. Hmm. I guess, um, hmm. let's, let's see here. You guys want to go and see another example? Sort of, sort of something that was uh, an idea I got actually from just straight up from uh, it was a long time ago, a long time ago. I went to like a baseball game, like the first time, and that's when I found out that about the gum, the the big league chew. Oh, this guy! I know what you're about to bring up. <laughs> And then uh, a while back, I made a design like like this like monster guy. He's like a baseball player, but it's also made out of gum. It, it, it sounds weird. It is weird, but it works. <laughs> I think he's a cool character. I think I think he did a really good job. Yeah. Like, what did you name him? Oh, I, I haven't named him yet, actually. <laughs> But like this idea of like now listen that's a whole that's a whole nother podcast naming characters we can talk about that for like three hours yeah well I I enjoy how gum is closely associated to baseball especially if anyone here has eaten big league chew and just the idea of a baseball man made of gum it is aesthetically pleasing like really nice looking <laughs> and uh... I mean that that's the thing though you know Wulong took a, a base idea it, well, base haha baseball. But it took... <laughs> <laughs> he took a base idea and he tried to come up with another concept that was related to it and could support that base idea, but also just be interesting because of its relation. So he took a baseball player and he was like, gum. There you go. Just got any gum? There you go. He has the gum. Yep. He is the gum. He, he is, is the, the gum. gum. <laughs> and he looks like but a monster. Yeah. <laughs> and the, and the pleasurable thing, you know, the pleasurable thing about it is that you can look at that character, immediately recognize the cleverness, the intent, and be like, oh, that, that's fun. That's a good idea. And, you know, that's what I'm talking about, you know. Yeah. Intent, you know. I, I feel like the best character designs, in fact, you know, most, if not every single character design that you see in every cartoon, game, movie, anime, whatever, every single design was made with intent because, you know, at the core of it, you know, characters are a thing. You know, it's a thing that we create. We want them to feel alive and we want, you know, people to fall in love with them. We want to fall in love with our own characters. But I think it is important to acknowledge that, you know, these are fictional objects that we are creating and they are created to fulfill a purpose. And our jobs as character designs is to know that purpose, know the idea and turn it into a visual representation of all of that. Yep. 
And imagine if one, like you were playing a video game and all the monsters were, like these uncreative things that you're killing or all the cre- your characters just weren't interesting to look at. Like there's a, there's a con using concepts to tie into something interesting. It makes your job easier, but also it just works out aesthetically. So, yep, that's what you gotta do. Definitely agree with that. I I actually I have a a controversial example to uh to to bring about up about that. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> now let me get this out of the way first. I I absolutely love the artist I'm about to bring up. Cube, man. Are you sure you want to do Cube this? Cube Sona. <laughs> no, it's fine. No, no, no. I I'm I'm going to be talking about Akira Toriyama. <laughs> oh, here we go. oh, yeah. <laughs> I show up more, he might he might appear more than once in, in this stream. Listen, I'm gonna say this right now. I love Akira Toriyama. I love Dragon Ball Z. I love Dragon Quest. I love to like so much of what he's done. But the people that don't like Dragon Ball Z, one of the big things that they bring up is, oh, the characters in Dragon Ball Z they feel the same. You know, oh, d- fucking. Gohan and Vegeta and Trunks and Goku, they all have the same face. And that's because I think in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball, Akira Toriyama was just going purely with his gut. Just going going purely with his gut. I think he just drew just what felt cool to him. And it worked. Uh, uh, for the most part, it really did work. Like, I love Dragon Ball Z. I love, like, pretty much every single character in that thing. However, the people that don't like Dragon Ball Z, that's one of the big things that they bring up. So even though you might make some really cool characters just by going with your gut, going with what looks cool, you know, just just trying to think like, okay, what looks cool? Spiky hair, jacket, muscles, you know, you could do all that. But uh, a lot of people say that Akira Toriyama's better character design work can be found in Dragon Quest. Because in Dragon Quest, uh, I would be willing to bet money that Akira Toriyama is given more of a direction. You know, I, I don't really think Akira Toriyama has much in the way of direction or writing responsibilities when it comes to Dragon Quest. So I believe Akira Toriyama is pretty much drawing other people's ideas when it comes to Dragon Quest. And a lot of people say, oh yeah, the, the, there's less same face, there's more variation going on, you've got funner ideas, you've got direction, you know, you've you've got all sorts of things going on with Dragon Quest, especially when it comes to the monsters. Because uh, then you brought up, you know, imagine in an RPG if just all the monsters looked boring. Well, this is a good example of taking a look at Dragon Quest and looking at all the weirdo monsters that pops up in that game. Like, you're always going to see something new. You're going to be weirded out. You're going to look at most of the monsters in Dragon Quest, and you're going to be like, I want to kill that. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You just just want to... You just see a slime. You're like, how can I smack... How hard can I smack this thing? Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, Chrono Trigger is another really good example of that. Another uh, Akira Toriyama thing of... You have so many interesting character designs for the monsters in Chrono Trigger. And what's really cool about Chrono Trigger is, and this makes me think that that was another example of Akira Toriyama being given, being given direction and drawing other people's ideas, is because a lot of the visual designs of the monsters in that game, they relate to gameplay. You know, a lot of the times you can look at a monster in uh, Chrono Trigger and you can be like, oh, yeah, so that's the strategy I got to use to kill it. That makes sense because I look at it and it's like, oh, yeah, of course that's how you kill it. Like, look at it. Like, one example, I can't remember. Uh, I think in Magus's castle, there's like this yellow wizard thing that, like, every time you hit it, like, oh, like if you hit it with a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, every time you hit it, uh, it becomes immune to a certain type of damage. And once you figure that out, you can look at it and be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. 
you know, he's got like a magician theme going on. If I remember correctly, I think he has like two. In fact, I should probably look it up and put it on stream because I could be talking out my ass right now. No, that's right. That's right. Uh, and just the, another thing about naming a character, like it's called the juggler. Why is it called the juggler? Because it juggles between its strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, like you, you look at the juggler and you're thinking, oh yeah, you know, he's got two big shoulder plates that symbolizes the uh, the physical resistance, and then he's got that long cape, you know, it looks all magical and mystical, you know, invoking the idea of like a wizard or something, and it's like, oh yeah, and there's a magical difference. There you go. Not only that, but uh, I think the number two is also a pretty uh, pretty good idea with this guy because he's got two antennas, two shoulder pads, you know, his sprite is symmetrical, you know. Uh, I think there has something there's something to do with his uh his animations that also communicates that idea. And uh you know I, I think I don't want to talk about Akira Toriyama too much, even though I love the guy, but you know I don't want to stagnate on one subject for too long. I just want to use that as an example of you know the difference between intentional design and translating an idea and just drawing what feels good in your gut because i don't think i've ever heard a complaint about the character design in chrono trigger or dragon quest but i've i've heard some people that were like yeah i'm not a big fan i'm not a big fan of the characters in dragon ball even though you know i'm i grew up in the early 2000s i am legally i'm a south floridian who grew up in the early 2000s i am legally obligated to be a huge dragon ball z fan if i wasn't i would have to pay some kind of fine yeah <laughs> that's the shit so let's see let's, let's see we're going on to we we got we got the uh, we we've got sort of the, we got the uh, coming up with the idea pretty down pat Oolong, yeah, you're kind of killing it with this design right now, too. I like how you're fleshing it out. Oh, yeah. I'm just thinking, uh, you know, this this guy should be sort of big. Sort of, he's, this is a hot shot. You know, he's a hot head. You know, sort of to, to go with the fire. Yeah, so he said, fuck you. <laughs> he's got his middle finger up. It all kind of uh, ties together. Everything serves a purpose. Yeah. You know what? I think that's really appropriate for uh, Newgrounds, too, because Newgrounds... Is known for having an attitude, and this guy's got an attitude. This is a new grounds <laughs> yeah. character, right? Oh, oh, I, I you have, uh, I, you have given me inspiration on what to talk about next. You and know, it, we should, we should, uh, we should bring that up to uh, Tom Fulp. That should be the new slogan of Newgrounds. We're the art website with attitude. <laughs> the attitude <laughs> era of the internet. That's... <laughs> but yes, energy. What sort of what sort of things are you trying to convey in a design? You got it, it's it's one way to think of it is um, when you have a character, you want to give it give it a specific sort of feel, you know. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna give a, a really strange uh, example here because uh, there there's there's design in food, right? <laughs> What's there's a certain energy a birthday cake has compared to a wedding cake. You know what? Yeah, sure. All right. Because like, uh, like a wedding cake, uh, that's some that's something a lot more grand. You know, so it, it's supposed to represent, uh, you know, it, you it's know, a, big, uh, a union big... of two people. It's supposed to represent love, romance, a new beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The birthday cake, um, it's it's for celebration certainly, but it, it it's not as uh, it's certainly not as grand. You know, it's just some it's something you have. It, it's a lot more, you know, it's a lot. I, I would say more fun rather than uh, you know, supposed to be more. Uh, well, I mean, you know, a birthday serious. happens every year. A birthday yeah. happens, you know, once every year. A wedding, I, I mean, you know, that that only happens once in a lifetime. Or maybe more if you're, you know, a little more wild, you know, a little, little more silly. But the <laughs> yeah. point is, you know, a wedding is more special. So with that in mind, you know, like, uh, for example, you know, let's take this idea of skeleton fire pirate. So the thing is, you know, that could be a completely different character depending on if we want that to be a good guy or a bad guy. Yeah. You know, we, we might want to use different shapes. We might want to use different colors. 
you know, m maybe if we were going to go about that that concept and we were going to make him a villain, we'd, you know, have more high contrast, you know, dark, dark colors, blacks and dark browns and dark grays, and then a bright, bright reds and oranges to have that that steep contrast and make people, you know, feel intimidated just by looking at him. But if he was a good guy, you know, his colors might be softer. You know, if he was a good guy, you know, he might have lighter colors. He might have a smile, you know, instead of having a lot of of points or or intimidating, you know, imagery and proportions. You know, he he might be less intimidating and he might be a more friendly looking fellow. Yeah. All right. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to draw this skeleton as if he was a good guy. Ooh. And then... <laughs> good. Well, he, he got guy. the redemption arc in one piece. Yeah, he got his he got his redemption arc. Now, uh, I, I I think uh, I think it would be a good time to bring up another example here, because um, this is sort of going to sort of cut into some of the things we do to uh, help you know just keep us on our toes for uh, uh, you know character design. So, like um, sort of the Halloween times, uh, you know me me and Cube Soda, we like to uh, we we like to design monsters. Oh yeah, we bring it up Halloween again. But um, th there was one time, uh, there was one time, uh, the uh, you know, we 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 went by prompts, right? And uh, one of the ones that was brought up is uh, creature from the lake. Oh gosh, that was the design I had a whole lot of hard time with, actually. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, this is sort of. Um, I, I would say this is going to be one of my this is one of my favorite designs, but I I I wanted to go sort of sort of really off the beaten path. Like I didn't want to make like a a sea monster. I wanted to invoke something that had that had a specific energy and then flip it. So when I think of something from a lake, there's there's one thing that stuck out in my mind. Lady of the Lake. Oh, I think I, I remember this one. And I turned that into a monster. I invoked this thing that uh is usually, you know, this 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 very uh you know, mystical, magical, good figure, and I turned it into this. And uh, you know this this hag-like creature wielding Excalibur with one fucking hand. <laughs> I like I love that contrast. Just some like creepy ghost girl wielding like such a bright-looking sword uh, yep. with one hand. Like that is creepy, and the balance of it is nice. Yeah, because uh, the you know the the sort of the sort of story with this is. Uh, Excalibur got tired of not being used, so it just it just took the Lady of the Lake's body, and it's just just hacking and slashing away at anything it deems evil. That is, see, that is another thing that's kind of great about Oolong that I really really admire him about is that you you come up with the greatest just backstories and ideas in that way the best narrative ideas ever like that that's definitely something i admire and uh that's that idea and that design that story also reminds me of another uh, design that you did and i i hope you can show this one but uh, i i don't know if you can find it easily let me see if I a while find... ago a while ago oolong came up with this idea of a of of an angler fish or like a mermaid angler fish type oh, character. Oh yeah, I think. I but might... it was ba but it was basically you know two characters you know sort of combined into one concept into one character, because you know angler fish. Every everybody knows that with angler fish, you know, oftentimes to to reproduce or whatever, you know, the male angler fish will attach itself to the female. So he took he took that and he went he went a little he went a little creative with it. So he took like an anglerfish mermaid and she was physically attached to this bigger character, but he made it look simultaneously like a, like the grim reaper and a scary deep sea fish. And and that's 
That's oh, one of I the coolest it. character executions I've ever seen. I'm about to put it up on the stream, folks. You ready? Yeah, I, I, I love how you did that one. Bam. There we go. Oh my I god. Like, like the mermaid sort of looks like a nun. <laughs> What do you think your your thoughts for these just come from? They're just out of nowhere? Sometimes I like to challenge myself. Just just straight up, just what can how can I make this idea work? That is uh that's an important thing to help you practice. When you it's sort of sort of sort of a confidence building thing even, sort of committing to one idea and doing whatever you can to make it work. Uh, Not only that, this one, I, I, oh, sorry, go ahead. This one particularly, were you inspired by just, did you see an Anglerfish documentary, or it just comes to you? Like, is is there something that you saw that provoked this? I, I think, um... Hmm. You know what, the, I to be honest, I don't even remember. Oh my God, because this this remember. almost just goes into like life experiences. Like when you are what you what you perceive, like a bunch of media that you might have seen or or the artists that you follow. Like this is a big, big brain concept of turning a fucking anglerfish into this specific trait of a cute little almost nun that lures you into this big beastly grim reaper looking dude. Like Cube Sono was saying, it's this is a really. <laughs> really concise concept that i love and you, you can when you come up with a concept like that it's like almost the viewer can just imagine in different situations or, or utilized in in many different ways but it's just uh just appealing like the world that this exists in is appealing to me for some reason yeah and well, you're just seeing one image and that exactly and it provokes so much just from one image that's how you know it's good character design and that's exactly that's good character design and i was also going to say you know uh i think part of what makes oolong really good at coming up with ideas and coming up with interesting ways to execute those ideas is i i think oolong has pretty good uh source of inspiration and inspiration and research is really important in character design because you know you like say you know if you're designing a, a police officer character you know you can then just go on google and look up you know police officer uniforms and you can look at the shapes in those uniforms and you can figure out different ways to incorporate those shapes and patterns and you can you know draw the uniforms you know for your characters and oolong he he cares a lot about research and he also cares a lot about being inspired because uh, uh one of oolong's big things that he's inspired by and uh this could be a pretty good um source of inspiration for other people is that oolong you know not not to make you sound like a like a total you know a total dork i love you oolong but you know he watches a lot of sentai and common rider oh yeah and yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, the I can't monsters the monsters, the bad guys in those kinds of shows, those Super Sentai shows and those those Kamen Rider shows, those tok tokusatsu shows, they can get really creative and wacky. I remember I saw this one monster design. I, I think it was from one of the Super Sentais, but it was this one monster that was like like jewelry themed, and it's entire upper torso was a giant hand and the middle finger had a pearl ring on it and that's where the face was and then the rest of the body was this bright red to look like the sleeve of a dress and it's just like that's brilliant that that's so cool that's such a cool way to go about that you know, you, you, you've got the idea of jewelry and you're like, all right, how can I do this cool? How can, okay, hand, uh, uh, where can I put the face? You know, how can I get, okay, a, a big ring, a big ring on the middle finger. I can put a face there. There's a circle there. There's a pearl. I can just have a face there and then just, okay, a hand has a sleeve, you know, that's the sort of thought process that would go into creating a character design like that. And if you ever just want inspiration on how you can take concepts and just really try to dig deep, really try to, to get creative with that concept, just look at, look at monster designs and super Sentai shows and tokusatsu. <laughs> like, like, 
<laughs> and seriously. <laughs> What you, what you laughing at? What, what what made you giggle? Somebody brought up uh, an old coffin writer enemy <laughs> called See, Ant you... That's the that's the that's a really good. You know what? I'm jealous. I'm jealous of that design. I wish I made it. Ant Capone in chat. <laughs> yep, can, we, can we get an ant in the chat, everybody? Thank you, chat. <laughs> Are there even ants in, like, is there an ant emoji? Oh, shit, there is. (laughs) (laughs) We fucking did it. All right, everybody, we got something going now. Yeah, everything's spam now. We got an inside joke. (laughs) All right, so. Ant Capone from here on out. We got to design Ant Capone. (laughs) We can. Well, well, hold on, yeah, there's there's one more thing that I do want to say, because I, I think it's important, but, you know, unless you have something you want to say, Oolong, I think we can end this lecture. It, it might have been all over the place. I honestly should have wrote a better script. I'm so sorry, everybody. But, no, 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 no. Uh, we, we get the ideas across. I do want to, you know, I do, I do want to move on to something, you know, a little more fun, a little more specific. So I will, I will say right now, you know, one more thing that I think is important to think about when it comes to character design is you have basically two different ways to go about translating these concepts into a character design. You can either do it in a direct, pretty literal way, or you could do it in a more subtle, symbolic way. And what I mean by that is... You know, to do a a character concept, to do a concept directly, you would just, you know, basically draw it. Like, okay, I want to draw a skeleton themed after a car engine. Okay, how do I make him look like a car engine? Okay, I guess I'll put exhaust. uh, I guess I'll look up what a car engine looks like. You know, I'll give him, like, armor that, you know, robot armor that looks like a, a car engine. You know, sure, you know, you could just do that and it'll be cool. I mean, it, it would be cool. Honestly, I kind of want to see that. But uh, what you could also do is instead of trying to come up with creative ways to incorporate something into a design, you know, literally, you could just try to make the viewer, like, feel, like, you know, invoke the thought, the idea, the subtle thoughts that go with that subject like for example i will actually uh draw an example right now because i was thinking about this yesterday when i was trying to you know think about what i want to do uh for this podcast um but basically let's say you want to design a, a female character themed around cats and let me say, I'm just smiling right now. Let me say, I've got you know, smiling I've got I've got a lot of experience. I've got a lot of experience with designing you know female characters themed around cats. <laughs> Cat girl supremacy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Hannah, 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 Hannah. All right, but no, seriously, seriously, you could be literal about it. You know, like like Catwoman from Batman is is pretty literal. Yeah, like she's got a, a a mask. She's got a hood that has the ears on it. You know, y- you could put like markings on her face to look like whiskers. You know, you could give her a little uh, cat shaped mouth. You know, you you could give her like a a hood that that looks like a cat's patterns or whatever. You know, you could do that. She's sure. Or, <laughs> you know, what if you don't just what if you don't just want to draw just a cat? Okay, how do I how do I make her look like a cat? All right, I'll give her ears, I'll give her whiskers, I'll give her big eyes, I'll give her a tiny mouth, you know. What if you just want to design a character that just makes the viewer think about cats? You know? You don't have to, you know, give her ears and and make her say nya and uh, give her a tail and claws, but you, what you could do. What you could do. I gotta, I gotta calm down. What you could do, <laughs> you know, you could give her big, you know, circular eyes. You know, you could just give her a tiny mouth 
not necessarily, you know, a directly cat shaped one, but you know, a tiny mouth. You know, maybe a short eyebrows. You know, a hairstyle that just sort of creates the silhouette of a cat. You know, let's just give her little bangs right there. You know, maybe a, a short, short fitting haircut. And I'm sorry this is such a messy sketch, but I do want to move on. You know, I don't want to stay on this for too long. That's but fair. there you go. Like, right off the bat, we just have, you know, a character that, you know, you don't look at her and immediately go, oh, she's a cat. You know, oh, oh she's got the ears. She's got whiskers. She's just, she's just a fucking cat. You know, she probably shits on the floor and then expects <laughs> you to clean it up. Oh, she's a cat. <laughs> no, you, you look at this character and it's just like... You know, you can tell, like, oh, yeah, she's supposed to have a specific feeling. She's she's supposed to, you know, she's supposed to have certain characteristics and all that. And that's what I mean by subtle. You know, like, I didn't give her whiskers. I didn't give her ears. I just sort of thought about, like, all right, you know, what can I do to just make the audience sort of subconsciously think about cats? And that's kind of what I did here. I'll give that a hell yeah. You're playing with our emotions. <laughs> you're, you're implanting that seed. Like it's it's weird how much you study just the defining features of what would make a character into a certain archetype or a certain certain feeling. Are you saying that I spend are you saying that I spend a lot of time thinking about how to make female characters look like cats? Is that, <laughs> is that what you're I didn't put it of? exactly like that. No. That's what I'm insinuating. Because those are because because okay, when Zin says it, it's fighting words, <laughs> and when when Oolong says it, it's pillow talk. It's fine. It's, it's all right. Fine. I I have drawn this man like a whole com a, like a whole squad of cat girl cowboys. <laughs> no. Yes, I have. <laughs> okay, we listen. Let's stop this subject. Listen, we're, we're getting embarrassing here. You're making me. You're making deep me dive, feel like deep a weirdo dive. now. All right, get me out of here. Get me out of here. All right, all right. I want. Let, I want out of this wild ride. Let's let's go into the big uh, the big thing we were working on before. Okay, is it time? Is it, it time? It's to... time. It's time. I would say it's time. All right. Yeah, we spent like. We spent like an hour. We spent double the amount of time I was hoping we'd spend just talking about it. But we, we, I mean, we'll keep talking about it soon. You know, character design, you know, the different techniques and such. Because all we did is talk about, you know, coming up with ideas, you know, figuring out ways to translate those ideas. Um, maybe I didn't do it adequately. Maybe if I planned better, it would be, you know, a more fun little lecture there. But you know, we're going to be talking about the process soon. We're going to be talking about actual character design. We're going to be talking about shapes. We're going to be talking about colors. We're going to be talking about silhouette. We're going to be talking about uh, composition. We're going to be talking about all that. And we're also going to give you guys an opportunity to uh, draw along and design with us. Because me and Oolong have been working on something. Oh, yeah. That we have. We wanted to figure out how we could get the audience to participate with us. And we came up with the idea of this little game. I designed the leader of a fictional team of villains. And Oolong designed the leader of a fictional team of heroes. Yeah. And I invite, I invite you, the audience to draw the members of our teams you know to draw the members that that fight for either justice or evil you know whose team are you going to design a character for oh and yeah <laughs> we've only got about an hour you know we we spent a little bit more time talking about uh you know, the the process and the concept and the theory of character design. So maybe an hour and a half. Uh, when do we end? Uh, I think I scheduled you for two and a half hours because of everything that you had planned. You guys have until 8.30 EST, which is an hour and a half. Okay, cool. So we've got a little bit more time than I thought we did. That's good. Yeah. So... You know, uh, let me be clear, this it's only like an hour and a half, so uh, nobody's expecting 
to see fully fleshed out like turnarounds and and uh you know fully shaded fully colored fully rendered beautiful van gogh paintings we're not expecting that but you know get a draft down get a sketch down you know get something down uh and at the end of our podcast at the end of our stream uh whichever team has more members is the winner so who is going to win evil or good justice or sinister intentions uh i think oolong we should start off with uh your uh character your leader so uh this character i have in my, i i have made oh shit hey somebody drew the drew the fire flying moth oh yeah skitty i know that person but yes uh the the design i've made i i've done multiple drafts of this was definitely one that took some ideas I, I even did a draft. I even uh, did a drawing to try and help you out. But uh, I think your final idea is kind of cooler than anything I did. All right. So first off, the first thing I came up with, this idea, this this uh, uh, th this is this is a a feline hero, and uh, the first thing I caught I thought of was like this uh, this like this like captain of like a like a galactic spaceship. Uh, this Captain Galio, which is which on its own is pretty cool, pretty cool. But he he he, he was sort of missing the uh, the sort of like uh, hero angle. Because uh, the thing is, uh, what what we what we decided on is we wanted this to feel like a Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah, you know, with Thundercats, Silverhawks, uh, Street Sharks, Mummies Alive. I know Oolong loves Mummies Alive. That's his yeah. favorite thing ever. My favorite thing ever. But uh, to it, but then I thought, how can I how can I make him more hero like? And then I gave him a giant robot. <laughs> <laughs> then I gave him a giant robot. But I was yeah, like, well, my guy doesn't need a giant robot. He, he don't need no giant robot. But um. Th then I was like, no, that's that's not quite what I want to go for. Then, then I sort of, I gave it a little time, like an hour or two, and then I came up with this guy. You know, with this guy. Oh. So, this is, this is half the design, actually. <laughs> this is only half the design. But, um, what I'd like to point out is, uh, you see these patterns? Yes. Uh, would you like to know what they're based off of? Yes. No. Uh, African textiles. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. the dude's a lion. Yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's all coming together. But, um, see, see. how can I make this guy even more heroic? So this is where everything sort of wraps around. And uh, I didn't give him a giant robot, but I gave him a cool-ass suit. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a hero. Oh, my God. We, and, were, uh, we were talking about the first pass-through. This is like the fourth one. It, it just evolved, like, every phase. This and uh, guess what? different African textiles. God damn. <laughs> so yeah. is this the final one? I'll post it in chat for everyone to so, see. I'll, I'll, po I'll post both of them. Okay. Because this is, cause this, is, this is sort of like a, this is this character Galileo and uh, in both of his forms. Uh, something you didn't mention though is that you also gave this guy the feeling of a bancho. You gave him the baggy <laughs> pants, the, the vest. Bag, but, yeah. Uh, by the way, by the way, of... I, you know, you know, you can thank me for that claw weapon because Oolong was trying to think. He was like, "All right, what kind of we what kind of weapon could I give this guy? Like a bancho feeling weapon?" And we were like, "A uh, chain whip, a uh, baseball bat, a uh, machete." And then I, for I don't know what it was, but for some reason I instantly thought of Vega from Street Fighter. He's not even a Boncho, but I was just like, if a Boncho had claw blades like Vega from Street Fighter, that would be friggin' cool. So I was like, Oolong, 
claw blades. And it also, I mean, also it's it's pretty easy to go with that because okay, he's a lion. Lions have claws, but also I don't care. That's sick because you can also have him do berserker barrages from the Capcom Marvel games, like Wolverine. Come on, MVZ two. Yeah. Yep. Now, uh, I think it's time to show us who he's fighting. Okay. You want to see... You want to see what I made, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. So let me say, uh, first off, the themes that, that we went with, the prompts that we gave our, each other to follow, is that we decided that Oolong was going to design mammal Saturday morning cartoon heroes. So if you guys are going to draw the subordinates of Captain Gallio, you know, the that was another thing that you said about Gallio is that you wanted him to be like like wise. How can evil, how can pure evil compete against the streets? Yeah. That's why he made him that's why he made him look like a bancho, like like <laughs> you know, this justice filled like street leader. And yeah. You know, so if you want to design a character for Captain Gallio's crew, his team, go with the prompt Mammal Saturday Morning Cartoon uh, Hero. So how can you make this character look heroic? How can you make this character look like a mammal? How can you make him look like a Saturday Morning Cartoon character? Yeah. Uh, and also keep in mind, because like I said about, you know... Uh, uh, taking core concepts of a character and changing them, expanding them, evolving them as you create the character, you know, that's pretty much what Oolong did. You know, he was like, okay, mammal. Who would be the leader of a group of heroic mammals? A lion. Okay, how how is he heroic? How is he a, re a hero? All right, he's a, he's a street bancho. He's a heroic leader type street ban bancho. How can I make him look like uh, a Saturday morning cartoon character? Well, you gave him direct, bright colors, you know? It, that was another thing you said. You said you wanted to make this guy look like you could sell toys of him. Yeah. Which, that, that is Saturday morning cartoons. Ain't that, ain't that just it? That's it right there. So, everybody, if you want to design, you know, team members for Captain Gallio, there you go. That's the prompt. But well, now, got the bad guy. you must witness true evil. Here we go. Allow me to show you, audience of the Newgrounds podcast, Lord Necroz, yeah. winner of entropy to every star in the galaxy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, there he is. I could definitely because see these my guys prompt, My prompt was reptile Saturday morning cartoon villains. Yeah. The idea that I had for Lord Necroz is I wanted to come up with just, just, just a really just pure evil character so what he is is he is a dark sorcerer from long long ago and he was killed by a brave hero his tyranny was ended forever he ruled the planet with the mysterious might of magic nobody could fight against him except a hero who used a weapon that fell from the heavens and once, once this, this evil sorcerer was killed, it was thought that peace had finally been brought to this planet for all time and all future. However, one day, a group of greedy scientists who sought to revive this evil sorcerer and control his magic, they performed illegal, inhumane, heinous experiments on his body, on his fossils that were preserved all this time. And through their unholy science, they succeeded in bringing him back from the realm of the dead. But what they didn't expect was that the realm of the dead changed his magical powers and he could not be controlled. 
He sapped the energy from these scientists to refuel his unholy evil body. And now he seeks to use the power of both technology and magic and to gather a force of creatures that share his bloodline and, and not only control a planet, a single planet, but he wants to rule the entire universe. There we go. Holy shit. Yep. So here we go. This is a... Uh, I really struggled with this guy. I went through uh, a lot of drafts that I did not keep. But uh, here he is, Lord Necroz, the leader of the reptile villains. So, if you want to draw a character that, you know, works under this purely evil tyrant king... You know, make them a reptile, make them evil, and make them Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah. And now that you've seen uh, both villains, both characters, uh, not both villains, but, you know, both team leaders, go ahead and start designing at the end of the stream. We'll look over all the uh, submissions, and uh, we will, uh, you know, count them all up and find out who the hero is. And I will link uh, the file here. There is Lord Necroz. Uh, let me make a blank file. Let me make a blank page. Now I also, just... here is uh, the initial pass through I did of this character. You can see some differences, uh, some things that I ended up not sticking with. Like I gave him like these square like fingers and, and a hand, and I made his tail like longer and snake like almost i like how i drew this tail though i i like how i made the the lighting like go with the flow it looks pretty nice but you know i uh i did do some things differently here because then you know with this second pat this final pass through i wanted to follow oolong's footsteps and i wanted to be like all right how how can i make this guy look like you could buy toys of him yeah. And now I'm just I'm just imagining like you know action figures of just you know he's got this big arm with this big like circular joint right so I'm just imagining an action figure where you can just turn his arm like up and down you know that's it it's just on this little axis and I'm I'm imagining just you know you can open this big claw and have it grab things you know I'm imagining like like the plastic you know the translucent plastic that you could use for these green tubes and stuff that's also why I made the uh, the, the tail uh, a bit shorter and a bit uh, you know more simple because I figured oh yeah you know that, that with a you know as a toy you could ha just have that be a little short piece of plastic or you could have you know the really nice expensive action figure you it could have multiple segments and you could move his tail in all different directions oh why did why did I make that so big but uh trying to put the prompt on, on my screen so uh oh my god but yeah so, something that i something that i really wanted to uh you know I, I thought was a really cool idea is i tried to come up with like all right who who would be the leader of a team of villainous reptiles and literally there's only one correct answer t-rex <laughs> yeah it's got to be t-rex there's no God, way that's a T-Rex. His arms are too big. What are you talking about? You're... Oh. <laughs> it's ruined. <laughs> damn it. He's too fucking buff. I, damn, too, it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I like, I like how you drew an actual action figure. Like something that you would see on shelves. Like at Walmart or that's something. That's what I tried, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's what I tried. But, why, uh, did I, why did I use this, tech, this font for the prompt? <laughs> <laughs> a, lo a lawyer reptile you know what i'd pr I'd totally be okay with like an iguana lawyer who's who's just like like he's he's sort of like the joker he works behind the scenes and he just blackmails people with his legal knowledge of just like oh yeah sure yeah i, I could let you go off you know you don't have to pay your debts but you know i did a little snooping around and i saw that you've got some uh you got some files on your computer that I don't think you want people to see. Hmm. Was <laughs> maybe fight, maybe fight for Lord Necroz. Hmm. <laughs> I could imagine that. He just audits people all day. Audits. <laughs> but uh, I do, I do have actually something interesting that might uh, entertain some people. Yeah. Is that uh, I also designed back when 
uh, Captain Galio was just like a sketch, um, and and he didn't have a finalized design. I I did a draft and I tried to help Oolong uh, design Captain Galio, and I think it would be interesting to share because uh, my draft and his. Uh, uh, you know, final product ended up being really different, really, yeah. really different. But uh, oh yeah, another thing that might be worth thinking about is uh, you know, the setting that we came up for this, you know, Saturday morning cartoon hypothetical world. That uh, you know, it's a setting and a genre that I feel a lot of cartoons back in the eighties and late 70s and early 90s they a lot of them had similar settings but uh we came up with you know just sci-fi fantasy you know uh, barbarians with swords and jetpacks you know star captains that that talked to an ancient wisp from a faraway planet and now they have magic for some reason you know so you know think about just thundercats silverhawks uh you know, all those Saturday morning cartoons and try to just think of just fun, cheesy, just this is cool, you know? Like, look at this guy. He's a, he's a T-Rex, like, warlock with a giant robot. He's a warlock T-Rex cyborg. Like, come on, that's that's just that's just cheesy rule of cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would... Oh, man, Joe Biden's in the chat. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Joe Biden. He said nice. I'm gonna draw Joe Biden real quick. <laughs> just, All right, just just draw Joe Biden. What do we do in the meantime while everyone's drawing their characters? Hmm. Uh, well, what we could do is uh, we could talk a little bit about you know our process, you know our ideas with designing these leader characters. But uh, I do have another idea that you know that that we could do that uh, could be fun. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking, you know, I've got a couple ideas. Uh, maybe we could just wait and see what the uh, what the uh, audience think would be mo most interesting. But, you know, one of the things that I think might be interesting is have the audience submit uh, characters of theirs, and then we uh, redesign them. You know, give critiques. You know, try and and uh, give some insight to what we do with this character, you know, try to uh, uh, give them ideas, you know, give them inspiration, you know, just, just give them a fun little uh, redesign, you know, uh, uh, draw other people's characters, and also, you know, have everybody draw along, take notes, and uh, get live critique. Yep, and uh, I guess in, I guess um, also if you guys want to uh, ask any specific questions... Oh yeah, of course. I mean, of course, you know, live Q and A every day, of course. Yeah. But uh, another thing that we could potentially do is, I, you know, I had an idea a while ago for these like uh, character design collabs, and uh, I was thinking uh, maybe we could design uh, characters based off of a prompt because I had these sort of like I don't know what to call them, maybe character design duels. But that's uh, an idea that I what had. We did here. Yeah, I mean that's basically what we did here. So maybe we won't do that. But it was basically the idea of like you know we each design a character of opposing concepts like hero and villain, fire and ice, wood and metal, you know, cat and dog, you know, it's uh, stuff like that, etc., etc. But another thing that I I think now that I'm thinking about it, it might be the best idea is. We since basically what we were trying to teach, what we're trying to talk about is just the three emoji challenge anyway. Just take three concepts and relate them to each other and translate them visually. Uh, we could just do the just three emoji challenge, just the three emoji character design thing, you know. We could just do that, yeah, but uh, I don't know what is a uh... What's what's interesting to you, Zin? What do what do you want to see? You're part of the audience. You're here. You're listening to us. What do I want to see out of you guys? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, drawing, I guess. Um, the three emoji thing was cool. You know what I mean? Like, uh, or yeah, still, the three still emoji thing was cool. Yeah, I like. Uh, well, I think the most <laughs> the, the the most interesting thing that could come out of you guys streaming together would be like 
how you guys both interpret like in the beginning you know like how you guys both interpret like a character concept like how uh okay oolong threw on like an engine for his hat and like you know what i mean you know what, Zen? You know what? That, I, th- I think that's probably the best idea. Let's just do the three uh, emoji challenge. Let's let's both let's take submissions right now. You know, send us. Uh, you know, put in three emojis in the chat and Oolong. Let's together. Let's pick the same concept and let's separately uh, design our own characters for that idea for that combination of emojis. All right. So uh, the qu- the question asked: uh, How do we draw so fast? Uh. uh I don't know. It's a lot of... <laughs> um, all right. I would say what, what I do is um, my art style has actually changed pretty drastically. And uh, it's specifically for speed. And uh, I, I stopped using such a... Like, in, in the past, I used a lot of really, really precise line art. Like, really thick, precise line art. Because uh, I use binary. And I use a breast sort of like this... And uh, I also friggin' I, I also uh, use the stabilizer at a very high setting, like max. So yeah, we're yeah. both we're both frauds. We use stabilizers in Psy. Sorry to ruin everyone's image of us, but oh, man. we're both cheaters. We're both hack frauds. Sorry, guys. But now I'm using just a times two pixel without uh, pressure sensitivity. And uh, I'm just being a bit more lax with how I do my lines. So, you know, they're, they're a lot simpler to work with. Oh, All man, right. that's a bunch. That's a bunch of emojis. I forgot I asked for those. Yeah, it's All just right. flooding the chat. You All think right. you oh. guys are both going to choose the same one? and then? Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll, cha- we'll choose the same one because you said it would be interesting to see us tackle the same yeah. concept in different ways. So let's do that. Let's no do cheating, that. though. You guys can't look at each other's work. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm not looking at a stream. We're going to be trying to do this di- separately. Yeah. Oh, these are some tough choices. These are some very tough choices, chat. Well, okay. we got to pick one, you know. We've only got so much time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. We got a lot of jack-o'-lanterns. Jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh... Zin, hold on, hold on. Should, should we just design Zin? <laughs> It says, says Zen dead uh, alien. <laughs> I'm gonna draw Zen's dead corpse as an alien is stabbing him in the chest. Brilliant. And the alien, the alien is given a thumbs up and he's got a big smile and Zen is just beheaded. <laughs> no, I'd never do that. I don't want to do that. No, he deserves it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, fu- you know what? I fuck Zen. God, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. I'm glad he's not a. I'm glad he's not here. Yeah, <laughs> Thank dude. God. Ooh. Let's see. Uh, okay, okay. I re- I, I got a gay, gay mushroom frog. I, I, <laughs> gay gay <laughs> mushroom frog. <laughs> you know what? You know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say maybe it's a bad idea to try to make a character look as gay as possible. I think that might that might get us some shit. I don't think that's a good <laughs> idea. I don't think that's a good idea. All right, let's let. God, these are these are all some pretty tough concepts. I gotta say. But they, but we we don't back down from a challenge. Yeah, uh, we gotta pick one soon. Though. Okay, okay. Cool fire shark. There we go. Cool fire shark. Cool fire shark. Oh, cool hot fire damn. Shark. Let's design. Cool fire let's shark. Let's design a cool fire shark. All right, all right. There we go. <laughs> underwear, underwear, underwear. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Captain Underpants. <laughs> or it's a uh, it's like a a centaur with six legs and he's wearing a pair of underwear on each of his pair of legs. God damn! Okay. <laughs> that's, thinking, that's thinking outside the box. So yeah, well, you know that's that's why I'm here. Right. You know, hey, hey, Disney, hire me. <laughs> I've got the ideas. The timer <laughs> yeah. has started. All right. Oh well. fuck. Okay. Uh. All right. So usually, what I want to do when I'm designing a character is I want to pick two shapes. I want to pick two shapes. So I think for this guy, I'm going to pick triangles because sharks are carnivorous. They're dangerous. You know, they're scary guys. So triangles and squares. 
And this is a very Western approach to character design. This is uh, basically, I believe, the standard approach when it comes to uh, American cartoon, at least back in the day. I, I don't know what Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon is doing now. But back in the day, you know, uh, American particularly, uh, Western character designs, they would be very shape heavy you know like i'm sure you've heard that circles are friendly and soft and inviting you know squares are strong and dependable and triangles are sneaky or aggressive and sure that's one way to look at the symbolism that's one way to look at these shapes but i think there is a lot of potential in taking those shapes and turning them on their heads like for example you know, uh, some people may look at a circle and think of a friendly little fella. But I think that you could take a circle and use a circle to be weird or creepy. You know, big bulging eyes, a big smile, you know, big you know pupils multiple circles upon inside of other circles you know a big weirdo uh, you know this is a weird looking goblin now or a mad scientist look at this guy over here you know you can take uh, that's something that i think is very uh, uh underused is uh you know you get all these somewhat concrete you know shape symbolism but uh you know, I think circles can be weird or bizarre or uncomfortable. I think triangles, you know, triangles are usually evil and sneaky. But I think triangles can be, you know, uh, active, you know, uh, uh, willing to jump up. You know, I think triangles can be brave, you know. Uh, triangles can be, you know, to the point, direct, you know. You can use a triangle to make a character look like they they come up with a plan and stick to it, you know. Like you've got an arrow, you're following a course and you're going forward. Um, you know, uh, uh, there are different ways to approach different shapes. And we've got a cool fire shark. So I am going to make this guy look triangular and I am going to give him a, it's going to be circles and triangles. Screw it. Why not? Circles and triangles. He's going to be a big, strong guy with a big circular torso and pointy head. All right. Now, We've got that was that was that was pretty good, but uh, we now we're officially we're we're officially in combat. You're so right. I, we are trying to kill each other right now. That is true. We are trying to kill each other. So I am uh, taking a different approach. I am going with um. What is something that is cool? What is something that is cool? Ah, oh, you're already you're already doing a better job than me. I didn't even <laughs> think of that. Oh that's... God. Uh, chainsaws. <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy shit, bro! <laughs> oh, and uh, this shark, uh, he doesn't. He, he's not like one of those chain. He's not one of those like saw sharks. No, he just he 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 has chainsaws. All right, all right. You know, thank you for for reminding me. You know, my my ways. Thank you for for reminding me my own dogma, my own teachings. Because now you're making me rethink this guy. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. What what is something that's cool? What's something that's cool? Chainsaws. Oh wait. Chainsaws. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Yeah. Let's no. let's design it. No, 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 no. I got something. All right. You know what's cool? Smoking cigarettes. <laughs> hey, hey, now. I'm just kidding. All it's right. not cool. Come on, hey kids. Smoking cigarettes, that's not cool, all right? Don't smoke cigarettes, all right? It'll stunt your growth. Yeah. You'll have lung problems. You'll get cancer. Don't smoke kids' cigarettes. Yeah, that don't being smoke said, kids' yes, cigarettes. They are, uh, th yeah, don't, don't smoke kids' cigarettes. If you're going to smoke <laughs> cigarettes, you're like, get the hard stuff. Like, like that. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Don't smoke. Anyway, ninjas. Oh, oh shit. Ninja shark. We're, we're getting somewhere. Oh, another thing. All right, I, I committed to the, the shapes. 
I committed to circles and triangles, right? So I'm actually going to do something a little different where this is going to be a big, round, fat-bellied shark, but he's cool enough that he don't care. <laughs> he's a big boy, but he's still a ninja. Here we go. So, folks, you having a good time? You enjoying it? You enjoying the, join the vibes here. Yeah. Whoever loses yeah. has to get thrown in a shark pit. I'm just saying, no pressure. I'm Floridian. That's that's like that's like you know daycare to me. Oh, I'm that fine. is daycare to you. Yeah. Come on, that's come on, give live. me something scary. Come that's on. True. That's true. We delete um all your internet history, but then re put it in. What what's the point of that? Why would you do that? Slightly edited and you don't know how. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> there you go. So now you really don't want people seeing your history because now now you don't even know what's in there. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, as a Floridian, let me just say, uh, wrestling alligators isn't as uh, uh, scary or or dangerous as uh, people make you think. Oh uh, yeah. T well, uh, now you've got to deliberate on that. Uh, you've got to expand on that. How how do you fight an al How do you fight a, ga a gator? Uh, hold the hold down his nose and then just cuddle him. That's it. What? <laughs> I mean, he'll he'll try to you know roll on top of you. You know, he'll try to he'll try to flatten you. But you know, if you eat your wheaties, you'll be fine. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta be buff. Yeah, as long as you as long as you work out and you have a machine gun and you're wearing like medieval like chainmail and uh, you've been trained in karate, you're a black belt in karate. You you can wrestle an alligator and it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. What a, right. what about alligator with chainsaws? Uh, oh fuck! The chainsaw <laughs> gonna run out of gas eventually. I mean, no, no, you have thirty seconds. You gotta wrestle it. I don't know. You're stuck in the pit with it, and it has a chainsaw just taped to its head. What if I got a chainsaw too? Taped to your head? That'd be actually be really <laughs> awesome, dude. That, that was an even funny. I'll just tape one to my head, yes. and then it's battle. And you guys just battle. <laughs> I mean, fucking sweet. I think That's we just came idea. up with the next reality show. <laughs> I think uh, I think I think Game Grumps just just got a new idea for a power hour. Ooh, yeah. got him! Yeah, they tape chainsaws to their fucking heads. And they, they battle it. Is, out. Is... By the way, for the record, I haven't watched Game Grumps since like 2012. I, I don't I don't know what they do now. I j I just know there's a thing they do called power hour. They do things, I think. Do they eat spaghetti? Uh, I think they have, actually. <laughs> At least once in their lives. Uh, unironically, I think, they eat spaghetti. And, uh, I saw the episode with Mick in it, because we interviewed him, and they played a card game. Mick's pretty funny. I like Mick. Mick Mick's a good guy. I've, I've seen some stuff he's done, and I, I enjoy what he's done. Yeah. Yeah. Doing a complete... I, uh... Jojo fan animation that he's working on right now. Oh yeah, he is working his balls off for that. He is really putting his all into that, I see. Fuck yeah. Alright, now now this guy's cool because now he has sunglasses. Yo, chainsaws and sunglasses? Shit, bro. Cube, you got Dude, your work really... cut out for you, bro. I'm just saying. Yeah, I really I really don't know what I can what I can do here. What else is cool? Uh getting good grades, quick. <laughs> uh, uh, let me just uh, let me just put something on his design now. <laughs> what are you Oolong. doing, Oolong? Oolong, I am begging you. I am begging you. All right, all right. I've never I've never won a damn thing in my life. Can't you just go easy on me once? No, Can't he's... you just go easy on me once, Oolong? <laughs> Listen, this is combat. It it. It needs you need to have stakes. He's killing it. Uh, uh, what else is cool? <laughs> Listening to your parents. Uh, that's pretty cool too. Um, eating, eating, eating your broccoli. Yeah. Wait. Let's let's make this worse. Let's make this worse. Uh, 
what else is cool? Um... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Uh, You're designing uh, the coolest thing in the world, Oolong. <laughs> uh, let me, let me, on the other bicep, um, uh, let's just pretend this is a piece of broccoli. Ah, uh, there's no way I can compete. Yeah, he's got vegetables. Honestly, I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing. You got it. Just, just go break. You know break. what? Yeah. I know what's cool. What do you know what's cool? Dads. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. Bringing the dads into the picture. Yeah. Word, word, dads. <laughs> dads. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make this guy the coolest dad ninja ever. Uh, I like that idea. He's gonna be oh, using grill no jutsu. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a good. Oh, I like this. Uh, like somebody's posting a lizard villain. Yeah. <laughs> Badass dance. Oh, uh, we got a we got a hero, got a villain. We're we're getting getting shit going. Just a just a ninja dad throws puns at you. He he. He throws gift cards at you. He uh What else is what else is cool, all right? Pompadours. He's gonna pompadours. have his ninja suit. His ninja suit is gonna have a pompadour built into it. Oh built into it. Mmm. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Which by the way, I'm fully I know I'm losing this challenge. I don't have like any good ideas. Yeah, but that's your like, design like... your design's kinda cool with the shapes going on. I like how different it is. Uh I've I hope Got another. We got two villains. <laughs> Look, I think evil might have an edge here. Hmm. Triangle. Hmm. <laughs> tri the chat is is going wild right now. I'm, I'm a little. I'm a little. I'm a little. You know, blown away at your power right now, chat. Now well, let's uh, give this guy lines now. Or let's, let's give him some clean lines. Like, like right. your two different characters belong to two different like stories, but they are the, they're the cool ones. Like they are the cool. Yours is a dad though. <laughs> I'm I'm designing a one piece character here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> In Pompadour. Oh shit. Oh, okay, oh, now on. you're oh, now you bringing your A game. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, hey, we're getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. Hey, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I like how Ulan was like, "What's cool? Chainsaws," <laughs> and then immediately Cube Sona lost from that point on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I, I am not winning. I'm not walking out of here with a, with a big check. I'm not walking out of here with a big green check for $10 million and a beautiful timeshare and, and uh, Grand Canaria, the Grand Islands. I'm not going there. How did you know? But I'm going to be walking out of here with a cool ninja shark dad. <laughs> exactly. There we go. That's almost worth it in of itself. You know what else is cool? Uh, uh, bodybuilding, I guess. Isn't that cool? Um, what does his dad well, wear? Uh, speedo. <laughs> All right, that is cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, we're heroes. Okay, oh. hold on. That was a joke. Hold on. That was a joke. However, however, however. Hold, hold on now. Hold on one minute. No, wait, wait a minute, right there. Cause Speedo would fit in with the shark theme of like water swimming. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Okay. He, he could show off his dad bod too. There you go. There you go. Okay, maybe, we're maybe he's just got his legs out. <laughs> Gotta get the mom tattoo on there. Gee, if you're gonna put a mom tattoo, I, I should put a tattoo on him that says "wife." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, that's that. That's what we do. That's we we work off each other. We're, we're oh, like a fuck. tennis match. Facial hair. 
that looks like a tidal wave. Oh my god, you're hold just going now. wild. Oh yeah. Hold, hold on, you know, may, maybe this ain't such an easy match yet, you know. Maybe I do got a chance after all. You do actually, now that I'm looking at it. I like that. I like how much thought is going into into yours, Cube. And like Oolongs is cool. Don't get me wrong; it's looking badass. But there's style points. You know what I mean? There's there's style points. Yeah, there is. There are style points on the line here. I, I will say that Oolongs doesn't have a tidal wave goatee, so <laughs> that is. He does not have a tidal wave goatee. He's, I'm he's, gonna I'm gonna say that, that if anything. Here's the thing: it's also fire. So grilling, uh, how can how can I how can I put grilling in here? Oh, there is also fire. Uh, yeah, I gotta do fire too. I mean, I was gonna make him look cool, so I was gonna give him like a ninja jumpsuit with like flames on it, but uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, that that tidal wave goatee is too good to get rid of. It's so it good. It is so. I good. can't. I can't get rid of that. <laughs> Oh god, lizard! Oh, the lizard villains! <laughs> the lizard villains keep coming in. I'm sorry. Well, you know what? Wait a fucking minute. What? Oh, oh, oh. hold on. Now, now I'm scared. Oh, now you should be, my friend. Now I'm scared. Because what do what do ninjas oftentimes have? Oh, uh, that is cool. What, what a are they... scarf, a mantle. Oh god damn it! Oh no! And oftentimes, they're frayed. You know, the ninjas live live a dangerous life. You know, battle scarred, battle worn. You know, maybe those frays can look like flames because he's a hot-blooded guy who loves his kids. <laughs> oh, shit. Hot-blooded guy who loves his kids. <laughs> That's the best descriptor I've ever heard. Okay. We are getting extreme right now. I here. love my wife and kids. <laughs> Chat, can you feel the extreme energy we're, we're exerting right now? Uh, you yes. know what I think? No, he's he's gonna have he's gonna have everyone, tiny tiny hands. Everyone in chat, lend them your power. Go. <laughs> everyone in chat, give me your dad energy. Give me please, give me your dad jokes right now. <laughs> Flood the chat with as many dad jokes as you possibly can. Oh my god! Oh my god! Please, I need it. Please. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, they're doing it! They're doing it! <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> I like how they're all on Cube's side, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they said, "Cube, shoot him in the chest. <laughs> Get him." <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Listen. Don is a very good friend of mine, but I'm just saying, you know, he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to one up me if he's gonna have as cool a stream as as we are, huh? Yeah. Checkmate, Don. I love you. <laughs> oh, 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 God! This is this has got this has turned into. A, I'm feeling the heat now. I'm in the hot seat oh, right now. Oh, are you now? Ooh, sweating it. Sweating it. Oh, man. Shark Vin Pompadour. That, that's pretty good. That, it is. It really is. <laughs> oh, we, got, we got more heroes, more villains. I like oh. that hero design with the skateboard. That's a good one. <laughs> the, ba skateboard? the battles are going on in and out of chat. This is a very violent stream. I didn't, you know, there's a lot of bloodshed here. There's a lot of. <laughs> He's... Oh, this cat! This cat! Oh, shit! Two box cutters, bro. <laughs> That's tight. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, no. I don't. Guys, 
I don't know if we can compete with two box cutters. I don't know. The, in a box. He's wearing boxes and he's got box cutters. It's, <laughs> it's a you know what? That's actually kind of genius. It is really genius. <laughs> One might say it's a box cat. Who knows, man? Who the fuck knows? God damn. I actually, hold on. That's actually like kind of genius on, on three different fronts. Cats love boxes. He's wearing a box and he's got box cutters. Oh my god. Genius. That, that, oh, fucking this is ridiculous. You know what? He's gonna have a speedo over the ninja jumpsuit. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> my god. I like how all the heroes look like villains somehow though. Like they look evil. <laughs> They're rowdy. They're ready to fight. The, the, dude, the, they they are... They're from the streets! They're from the streets. <laughs> even even worse, the streets of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you, see. you know what? Speaking of Africa, I, I actually have an extremely uh, uh, amusing story to uh, tell that's pretty short. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, yes. Let's hear it. Basically, just the entire story is that a few months ago, uh, I looked myself up on uh, on Twitter because you know I'm 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 a very self conscious guy. You know I'm sensitive. You know I care a lot about what people uh, uh, think about me. You know because I'm I'm just one of the, I'm one of those kinds of guys. So I look myself up on Twitter, and I see all this shit from an account that I just I've never seen before, and I'm really confused. Because the dude's talking about Nigerian politics. The dude's talking about, like, sports. And I'm just like, wait a minute. Who the who the hell is this? This has nothing to do with, like, my work or, or, or anything. Like, who the hell is this guy? And then I looked at his uh, name. And this guy, his name on, on Twitter is Cube Sona. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. What the, what the hell is this? So I go... <laughs> I go on his uh, uh, page because I'm like, who the hell is this guy? And what what I've surmised is that this guy is a is a young... Oh, I found out he's really young, too. I found out he's like... Uh, at the time, he was like 17. I think his birthday passed. He's 18 now, but he's, he's like a young kid. He's like he's like a teenager. And uh, he he runs a like like a shoemaking uh, business and he makes shoes for people, which, you know, that that's very honest work. That's very respectable. But his brand is called A Cube, and I oh. found out that he uses like I don't know if I don't know if America has an equivalent to this service, but apparently in Nigeria or Africa, there's this service called Sona, which I think is used to to just like oh anybody can start their own business, uh, use Sona, and you can can uh, uh, start your own business. And this guy made a shoemaking business off of this platform Sona. And so his name is A Cube Sona, and whenever you look up Cube Sona on Twitter, you just get all these, all these tweets from this this guy from Nigeria. Mm. And here's the really unbelievably hilarious thing: I noticed some of my mutuals followed this guy because they think he's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. So, so they just they just followed this guy, and they're getting all this stuff that's that's related to Nigerian politics and stuff. And it's just I, I I'm just imagining being like, huh? I didn't I didn't know Cube Sona was Nigerian. Huh? That's interesting. He's he's really passionate about football, though. I I didn't, huh? I I didn't think he was that passionate about sports. Oh, he's a shoemaker. Oh, I didn't know Cube Sona made shoes. And it's just like no, nah, that's that's just some guy. That being said, I mean, now that I've said this publicly, now that I've said this to a big amount of people, please don't harass this guy. Don't, like, bully him. Like, I, I actually beg of you guys. I, now that I say it, you guys are going to do it. But actually, please don't. Leave this guy alone. Like, let him let him make his shoes. Let him live in peace. You know, let him, let him lo love life. <laughs> live life, love. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, you know, don't, don't make him sad. You know, he's a, he's already a happy happy guy with a job that he loves. He's making shoes for people. Leave him alone. Listen, you guys are more powerful than you're giving yourself credit for. You guys, you guys do a lot of good stuff. So yeah, so stay stay good. Don't don't go to the dark side. Yeah, don't don't, don't let Lord Necros win. <laughs> yeah, come on.
I don't know. A lot Which, of people have way, drawn he's... villains. I'm not gonna lie. I've yeah, seen a lot we, of them. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry, but it doesn't look like doesn't look like Justice is winning today. Hold on. Hey, hold on, Cube. There's a there's a lot of mammals in this squad you're right. too. You're right. You're right. We're not done. We're we're not done. You know the the night is still young. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. Oh. Oh shit. That one's fucking sweet. What the, the ferret? Yeah. <laughs> He's cute. Was, He's cute. I like him. That was a cool little mechanic they got on that. Nice. Good design. Really good design. That's what we're here for today is to design shit. In fact, you know, I've been I've been telling a lot of anecdotes and funny stories. I should be talking more about this design and my mindset cuz what I'm doing here now is uh, something that I care a lot about is contrast, and I also care a lot about silhouette. So I'm trying to give this guy proportions that basically make it so that his silhouette and his body has, like, extremes. I'm trying to have, uh, you know, portions of his body, portions of his design that are simple, that are smooth, that aren't trying to compete, you know, for your visual attention. And then I'm trying to give parts that are more, you know, complex. You know, they've got more going on and they're more interesting to look at. Because you can't have all, you know, have a design be nothing but, you know, bumps and spikes and patterns and shapes and, you know, complexities. Because then that's just exhausting to look at. You look at that and you're just like, whoa. Oh, it's giving me a headache. Yeah. So what you want to do is you, you want to have a contrast. You know, you want to have a place for the eyes to rest but you also want to have a playground for your eyes to have fun. But you got to have that balance. Yeah. Got to have balance. Okay. And uh, another thing that I like doing is I like bringing attention to uh, different parts of the design, you know, having them stand out in different ways. So I I'm having his torso, his body be this big, like, like simple, uh, a shape right it's basically just a big orb in fact i could probably exaggerate the proportions more but uh i, I want to get this done you know i'm being timed here i don't know how much time i got left you know i i, I don't want to lose here <laughs> <laughs> yeah like uh uh it's it's about it's gonna be eight in like five minutes yeah she's still got 35 minutes but maybe really? we should do another prompt after this one unless this is too much you know uh, let's see how quick I can finish up this fiery dad shark. Yeah, I, I'm. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm going. I this is this is practically done as far as like as soon as you get the lines, you just just gotta slap some colors. I mean, you're not looking at my design, are you? Because that would be cheating. Uh, uh, no, be, no, no, no. I'm talking about... You wouldn't want to be uh, disqualified. I'm not looking at your design. <laughs> just, I'm just saying that, you know, we have similar methods of drawing. And uh, usually when either of us finish the lines, uh, we just need to add the colors and then it, it then it's done. You know what, that's actually something uh, that, that I guess is, is kind of fun to talk about is that, uh, you know, a lot of artists say that they hate doing, you know, line art, that they prefer, you know, the sketch or they prefer uh, the, the coloring. But uh, I actually think I want to say the line art's my favorite part of the drawing process. I like doing line art. I don't, I don't know why. I say, I say line art gets a lot of flack. Yeah, it's, it's like, I would say like a lot, probably because like, there's a lot of uh, it's a lot of trial and error if you're uh, if you're trying to be like super super precise. Like uh, I'm trying any, to uh, right now. Is there any uh, is there any uh, questions that uh? Oh yeah, people yeah. are uh, interested in learning about finding out about. Bust out the questions. I'm I'm ready to answer some shit. You know what? So somebody asked earlier, you know, how we draw so fast, and I, I gave a bit of a joke answer, but I feel like that that, that might be um, unfair because uh, I think I, I gave it a little bit of thought, and I, I think I do have like an answer of like why I draw so fast. Um, 
And it, it's mainly just that for, you know, I've been drawing since 2008. And I've been doing commissions since 2011, since I was 16. Uh, because, you know, my family, we never had a lot of money. And I don't really want to paint too much of a pathetic picture here. But basically, you know, because I, I come from a poor family, there were a lot of times where I had to... Uh, you know, step up and, uh, you know, do commissions and raise money so that we can fix our boiler or fix our water, you know, fix our pipes. And uh, because of that, you know, I had a lot of responsibility and I've done a lot of commissions over the years. And, uh, you know, I, I had to learn how to get them done fast. And uh, I think I think that's mainly the reason why I, I can draw so fast is because, you know, I did I had to do a lot of commissions and I was motivated. And, uh, you know, it, it just sort of uh, that was part of it. But it's not only that, it's also like I made decisions, you know, about how I draw things that led to me drawing fast, because not only is it about drawing fast, it's also about, uh, you know, having it look cool to me, you know, because I'm the artist, I'm the one that has to deal with my art the most, you know, because I'm the one that makes it. So, uh, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, come up with a style or come up with a way of drawing that looked cool to me. And I, I grew up, you know, loving, uh, uh, you know, cartoons you know i grew up on on dexter's laboratory i grew up on a uh, billy and mandy and i grew up on cartoons and in western cartoon style you know you get a lot of direct shapes you get a lot of really uh, direct shapes a lot of really clear you know designs uh you know you, you get a lot of that and i was really uh i i was really you know moved by that i was i was really inspired by that when i was a kid and, and to this day you know i still love like gendy tartakovsky you know, I still love, you know, like Craig McCracken, you know, I still love all those, all those art styles and all those uh, cartoons and works of art and stuff. And, uh, you know, not only am I drawing fast by, you know, carefully placing my shapes and carefully, you know, deciding how to, uh, you know, draw those shapes and, you know, how to make them direct. And, uh, you know, the because the, in my art style, I think the shapes really, you know, take the spotlight, you know, I think I think people like my shapes mostly. And uh, I like my shapes. I like how direct my art style is. So that that's part of it. You know, it's it's sort of, you know, a one-two there. You know, I did a lot of commissions. So uh, I had to j learn how to draw fast from that. And also, you know, my art style just naturally lends to, uh, you know, drawing fast. So, you know, it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. And uh, I, I hope that's an interesting, you know, answer for you. All right. That's a that's a pretty that's a good answer I'd say. Now I see we got one about uh, all right. Let's see. We got a few a few questions here. Um, what programs? Uh, I'm using Sci2. And I'm using Sci2. Yeah, it's sort of uh, we haven't uh, made the switch to Clip Studio like a, a lot of people have. Well, the thing is, is like we're both we we both primarily do you know binary art, and it's like there's really no reason if you're a binary artist, there's really no reason to if you've already been doing Psy all this time, there's no reason to move on to Clip Studio because yeah. I've I've tried out Clip Studio, and uh, it's certainly not a bad program, and uh, in fact, it's got a lot of features that I wish Psy had. Uh, like that color ramp thing that it has is is really cool. That that color gradient thing where you can just color in like a black and white sketch, but just have certain values be mapped to different hues. That's really cool. But uh, the binary pen in, in Clip Studio is not that great. At least at least I haven't figured out a way to make it look good. I'm sure maybe there is, but you know I I really like the binary pen because it's you know it's got a lot of strengths. But it does it does have a lot of weaknesses. I do got to say, because uh, you know the smaller resolution you draw things in, you know the less room you have for for details. Because uh, that's something that I've noticed is that a lot of the times I can't really uh, you know focus too much on faces and uh, hands and feet and such because the resolution the resolution is too small. It do be like that though. Hold on. What is the kanji for fire? Oh no! You're, <laughs> you're going all Hold out on. now. Hold on. We're getting, we're getting somewhere, 
All right. Uh, another question. Another question. Uh, let's see. Do you start commissions at any time, or does it depend on your portfolio? Um, I would say that um, if you if you feel you're ready to start that sort of work, uh, uh, you know, you you just dip your toes in it. But you, you it's it's a very big commitment. Yeah, and it, you know it can. I don't want to get too much into it, but you know, like like any creative freelance work, you know, there there are some some challenges, some obstacles that'll pop up, you know, along the way. Um, so you know, just just keep in mind that you're, you know, you are not going to have a boss, and that when it comes to your specific, you know, jobs, your gigs, basically you are you know going to have to do whatever the commissioner wants you know you have to be you have to be prepared for that and when it comes to a portfolio you know uh, basically when it comes to commissions re really uh you know the most important thing is just whether people want to buy your art so when it comes to commissions you know if you feel like you don't have a lot of confidence if you're nerd if you're nervous you know, uh, work on your art, try to learn. That's what we're trying to do here. You know, we've, we, uh, the whole reason why we're here today is because all these artists, we're trying to help you learn. And so, you know, if, you, if you've heard some knowledge, if you've heard something today that you want to put into your art and you think it'll improve it and that'll help you feel confident enough to open up commissions, then, uh, you know, work on your craft, have fun, yeah. love art, because that's the best way to get a career in it. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful right there. Okay. Uh, now I'm just... Uh, now I'm legitimately just bullshitting around. I, I, okay. I, this is good. This is good. I can call this done. Oh, Why no, am I done. not stopping? Time. Uh, Time. Oh. Time. I'm not even... I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm Time. Not done. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! If if we really have to stop here, then then um I I didn't you even get, shade it. You get approximately oh. five minutes. Okay. Okay. Five whole minutes. <laughs> All right. Hold on. I got one. Th I got one more thing to look up. I got one more thing. I like how right. no one used jewelry at all, like gold chains or nothing, to be cool. Nah, that's too easy. We're trying to think too outside easy. the box. Uh, what about what about uh? body hair like chest hair that makes you cool right that's a cool thing no, i mean i got facial hair he's got facial hair that has you know a hold on hair. hold on i i actually think that that concept might be best for my character because you know he's he's a dad what's the what's the thing you remember the most about your dad specifically probably his big fucking burly arm hair right <laughs> yeah. all right so we're gonna we're gonna make this guy rude i'll call like this done i will time <laughs> okay, fuck it. All right, that's all I got. All right, this ain't perfect, but it's 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 all, all I right, can post, do. Post post them in chat, and then everyone has to vote on the one that won. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's oh, it's definitely Oolong. I definitely I definitely think Oolong is winning. I think. But I remember, you love for your dad. If you vote for Oolong, then you hate your dad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is. Ooh, <laughs> you got a good point, my friend. <laughs> How much do you guys hate your dad? <laughs> oh wait, actually, a lot of people hate their dad. Oh, Ooh, that through. Oh, there oh no, Oolong, I lost this so fucking hard. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god, I'm, I, dude, I'm, I, dude, I don't deserve this. If I win, I don't, I don't deserve it. Oolong won that. Oolong fucking won that. Emojis, don't react. vote for me. React. Don't vote for me. <laughs> okay, good. I am losing. Yeah, no, I, dude, I lost that so fucking hard. Oh god. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see if I can get another prompt. I, oh. I probably, I probably could have saved it. I probably could have saved it with the colors, but I didn't. I failed. I didn't have enough time. All right, all right. All right I'm running out of room for pin messages, but I've been p trying to pin all the heroes and villains that people have been submitting. I, I feel like we should just wait until the end though and have everyone post them at once. If yeah, that might be better. Want. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that might be a better idea. All right, so 
we're just, yeah, I think Oolong, Oolong won this. <laughs> oh, God. Bro, he, oh, he chose the Johnny if Test I, colors for the pants. That's uh, <laughs> fucking If hot. I had just a little bit more time, I could I could have made this dad shine. I could have made him shine with sweat. <laughs> ah, fuck, man. Oh. Are we doing a round two? Are we doing a round two? Yeah, screw it. I want revenge. I want, I want revenge. rematch. Three emojis yeah. in chat, please, for Oolong and Cube Sona. You guys got this. <laughs> that was awesome. I, I, me personally, I like that you guys can't see each other's designs until the end. So you're just blown away by whatever the other person. Oh made. yeah, no, Ulan kicked my. There was, dude. There were. Fuck me, dude. He just, he destroyed me. <laughs> he said, "You know what's cool? Chainsaws." <laughs> I as soon as he said that, I was dead. Nothing, <laughs> I, dude. I you know what I think if I tweak this design this could be a good character but like no I I fucking lost ice cream clown eye uh, I like ice cream clowns I feel like those are shapes that you could do a lot with but I don't know about eyeballs I don't know about that I, I feel like we just be end up making like cherry pawu pawu whatever her name is um uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. uh we we have like alien brain teeth I feel like we just be making Mars attacks. Got him. Let's see, uh, let's see. What else we got? Alien wizard heart. Oh. Uh, um. Uh, hmm. This is a lot more difficult, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, all right. All right. I know. Wait, let's see. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Octopus ghost exploding head. Octopus ghost exploding head. What? Huh. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. okay. Hold on. Let's let's go with that. All right. I got I got something. All right. Yeah. I got, I got an idea. Okay. I gotta. I hope I can uh, properly uh, express this then. Jeez. Freaking chainsaws. Uh, get the hell out of here, man. Oh, man. <laughs> he said chainsaws and sunglasses. <laughs> like, that was good. That was I can't, good. dude. There was nothing. There was nothing I could do with that, man. Come on. Right, I'm gonna screenshot the the prompt we're looking at now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um. All right. All right. All right. Let's let us do something here. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So. I gotta win this one. I gotta redeem myself. We only got 20... Wait, 19 minutes? Oh, I'm not winning this. This has gotta be a fast one. <laughs> oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, alright. Okay, all right. okay, octopus, octopus. Uh, exploding head. Uh, exploding head. What, what, what it would have to do with it with an exploding head? What what blows your mind? What blows your mind? Uh, science. Okay. <laughs> science. Okay. Who's a dead scientist? Albert, Albert Einstein. Einstein. Yeah. Wow. We all thought of the same thing. <laughs> oh man. All right, all right, hold on. Starting off, shapes, everybody, shapes. Uh, this stream has been br brought to you by the Shape Circle. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna do circle. Circles easy, you know. You got you got ghosts. You got you got a. Uh... Oh my god! I just realized if I'm gonna make a, an octopus ghost that looks like Albert Einstein, I'm just I'm just gonna be making Octo Dad. <laughs> <laughs> like like I, 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 I gotta give him a mustache. He's just gonna. Uh... All right, all right. Let's see how fast I can get this done. All right, lines now. 
Okay. Ghost expl. Wait. Exploding head. Albert Einstein. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> do do he... I want to go in that potentially controversial direction? Yes. Oh, when you get those ideas, oh, it leads to some shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, we're... All right, yeah. Yeah, okay. This is turning into something. He's gonna look like... A nuclear explosion. <laughs> not a not a bad not a bad idea. You know, th this idea would probably get banned in 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 a few countries. But you know what? <laughs> oh my god! This is, this is new ground, right? Yeah. Right. We we can walk the line here, that's fair. We'll walk the line. I welcome it. Alright, yeah. Okay, okay. This 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 is taking shape into something. Alright, alright, alright. Now now science. You know, he looks he looks like Albert Einstein. But what what can we do? What you know, what what can we do more? Uh, give him a uh, a funny scientist device like a light bulb or something. Funny science device, uh nuclear bomb. Oh, um we got, we got cat girl. Oh shit. We got I don't want to see girl. that shit. I don't want to fucking see that yeah, shit. Get did. that out of here. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> get, 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 the, the fact get you're so here. against it is, what, is what's great about it. Oh man, these guys are really polishing up their uh, drawings for the hero villain. Yeah, oh. fault, fault, just, just be going wild. That well, that's because well, that, that's because fault is an insane man. Fault, fault is a friend of ours, and he. He he's a, a mentally insane individual who draws like fifteen thousand things in one minute. <laughs> one minute, fifty thousand things. Newgrounds is down. No, but I don't know who did that. <laughs> oh no! Did we shut down Newgrounds? Yeah, shut down Newgrounds. I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't know. The event's been popping off. I'm not gonna lie. Since it got in the banner. Everyone just keeps joining. Yeah, but yeah, but come on, come on. Are we are we really Friday Night Funkin' tier? Come on. Yeah, but you guys, when you guys start streaming, the the YouTube stream went up like fifty views, like active views, like fifty. What active people. really? Yeah. So, just saying. Oh God, I should have I, I should have wrote a better script. <laughs> <laughs> should have wrote a better script. <laughs> well, we made it. We all right, all right, all right. This is always enough. next time. I like what Oolong's got going on. I like that. That's cool. Though. God cool. damn it! I don't want to hear that. Zen. I didn't say that. Did I say that? Did I say oh that? man! Did I say that? Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna have to. Oh okay. But this is a lot simpler of a design. That's that's the thing. See, Cube. I think Cube's gonna pull it off with how how tricky he's getting with it. Like, there's a yeah. lot more elements in cubes. So I can see. Oh, okay. yeah. But the thing is that the at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is the votes. It's the votes. Yeah. Your right. votes count, chat. Yeah, Cube's going to give you $5 if you vote for him, so. No, that would be fraud. I'd never oh. do that. That oh. being said. That being said. The, you know. Wink, wink. <laughs> $5, dollars 5 Robux. What's the difference? You know what I mean? I've got a really, I've got some really cool looking marbles with, you know. The audience's name on it. If you guys uh, <laughs> really vote cool my marble. design, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing: I've got more small marbles than big ones. So what you could do is that you could take the big marbles and then and then put the small marbles next to them, so it looks like the big marbles have like have like arms. You can pretend they're like punching. Who who else did that when they were kids? Because that's what I did. <laughs> I, I, once or twice. 
I used to have marbles. I don't know what happened to them. Shout out to Marbles chat. You know, you know. Let's yeah. get let's let's give some love to Marbles. Please, can we get some love for Marbles? <laughs> Is there a Marbles emoji? Dude, mm. can we get nine thousand likes for Marbles? <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Marbles live stream charity event. Uh, we're raising money for Marbles. For Marbles, you know what? I would I would do a, a charity event for uh. Uh, Marble, uh, what is it? Marble Madness? Marble versus game... Capcom. Marble? Like, Marbles for... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that should have been the, that should have been what we did for the, for the group character design exercise. Marbles for... Ah. Uh... No. <laughs> no. Everybody draws Ryu. The other group draws Marbles. Oh. How can you make Marbles look really cool? Uh, you can definitely give them cool gradients and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, like a marble. That's about it. <laughs> Mar- a marble with a, with a brain in it. Marble. Oh. oh. Yeah. Marble with a human finger in it. That'd be cool. Marble with a, with a dead ladybug in it. Oh shit. Um. It wasn't. It wasn't intended to look like that. It's just you know when they were making the marble, just just you know a ladybug got inside. Yeah. Marble with Rest. a tooth, uh, a tooth in it. It was. Oh my god! It wasn't Ugh. intended for the tooth to get in there, but. L- listen, we we actually don't know where the tooth came from. Uh, <laughs> we can't comment on it at this time. <laughs> as, as Marble Incorporated, we can't can't make any comments on that. I'm just imagine. I'm just imagining that like like an, two employees got into a fight while working at the Marble factory. And one of them got punched square in the jaw, and their tooth flew into the marble formula, to the marble plastic, the marble concoction. And then they were like, "Oh no! Oh god, that's a lawsuit!" Oh, the cat girl. And then, oh, no. and then it, okay, stop! Stop with the cat girl. It's not my team. It's Come not on. my team. <laughs> There's a reason for that. <laughs> my gosh. You got ten minutes, Cube. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh. You got this. You got this. No, no, I don't. Plus one to villain team. Look, they're 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 on your side, gaining power. Oh, uh, what did Ulong do? Oh, Ulong did Zin. something. He's already done. <laughs> he did a nice, nice little what? simple design. Yeah. Oh, he's already he's done. He's already done. <sighs> Oh no! You got uh, this. You got this. No pressure. All right. There's a lot of pressure here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the monkeys are going nuts. Not for me, man. <laughs> I'm chilling. Dude, I'm dude. I'm here in front of in front of uh, potentially <laughs> hundreds hundreds of people. I'm telling them, oh yeah, I know character design. I'm a professional, and here I am. I'm I'm losing left and right. Well, let me, I can't. Let's be fair. You said Oolong was way better than you in the beginning. Come on. Come on. I think I think Oolong's way better than me in like in like almost every aspect. Like he's more he's more handsome than me. He's smarter than me. You know, he's he's more fertile than me. He's you know he's got he's got a bigger he's got bigger hands than me. He's he's taller than me. He's, no, I, you know, I do think you're taller. I he do. could he could probably you know he could he could beat me in a fight very easily. He's got you know he's got more impressive Pokemon cards than I do. You know he's I don't he's, have any Pokemon cards. He's he's not allergic to cats. That's a bit dude. That's a big thing. He's not. I'm allergic to cats. He's not allergic to cats. Oh, come on, shit. come on. That's where his power comes from. You're right. That's why you don't like cat girls. That explains a lot. Actually, we're learning. Yeah, that's a why lot I today. fucking. That's why I fucking hate. I can't finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, even man. finish that sentence. I uh, got a message. Ethereum. Let's see. Uh. Hmm. But anyway, you know, now that the stream is, you know, get getting close to its conclusion, I hope you guys, you know, had a fun time. I hope you guys learned something. I I hope, you know, you you guys en- enjoyed uh, learning about character design. I hope we did an adequate job telling you about character design. Yeah, it was, you know, everybody had fun. That's, you know, that's my favorite takeaway from it. Uh, you know, I, I I definitely don't have a problem, you know, supporting you guys. You know, you, you funny new grounds fellas. Well, I'm, prob- I'm gonna 
I'm, I'm going to be... be honest. Like I, I have enjoyed and I've, I've liked like almost every comment I've ever gotten on Newgrounds, even if a lot of them are strange. I still enjoy them. I still like them. And, and but pretty much everyone is really polite, and nice on Newgrounds, which is uh, funny considering, you know, the, the reputation it apparently has. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I really, I really like Newgrounds. I guess, um, hmm. I guess what I can leave you guys with is, uh, oh, what do I got? Uh, fucking, uh, uh, I'm running out of time. You are oh, I... seven minutes. Oh, I'm running out of time. I'm gonna have to do the sloppiest color job ever. Oh, <laughs> that, I mean, that's what I had to do. Don't worry, that's what I had to oh. do. Guys, come on! I can't, I can't lose again. I can't lose again, <laughs> dude. I've got, I've got way too much, dude. Do you want to hurt my feelings? Come on, you guys gotta vote for me. Listen, I, I don't. Uh, listen, I, a vote for Ed is a vote for dads. <laughs> uh, I know you guys got some cool dads out there, so. Uh, dude, you you won that that first vote by a landslide. I think a lot of people hate their dads. I think I think maybe, <laughs> I think I think maybe my my campaign stance was, you know, maybe poorly thought out. All right, Wait. quick, everyone in chat. Even if you've already posted, post your uh, hero or your villain, and then and then Oolong will go through them while Cube finishes up his drawing. All right, all right. I'm gonna have to see. Let's tally these up real quick. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna tally these in, in in my stream here. So the red is gonna be for the bad guys. Uh, let me tally from when you mentioned that. Uh, we got one. Uh, no, no, that's not. All right, all right. I'm gonna have to. Ah, oh, hold on. Come on, man. The message that says vote Cube Sona for president. Underneath that is the first one that started after I mentioned the repost. So you yeah, can start with that. It's like the, the cat girl with uh like the blue screen in front of her. Alright. You guys you guys are starting to piss me off with all those Six. all those characters. I did, we didn't draw them. <laughs> Seven, eight. Zen, why did you draw literally every submission? I don't just know, to get to man. me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was like, Cube's uh, gonna be here. <laughs> <laughs> 12, 13, 14. I'll tell you what, I do gotta say though, if anything, uh, today's stream made me, made me realize like how little I, I actually like, like sure, I might have a lot, I might have a lot of knowledge when it comes to character design, but I think I gotta, I gotta practice more. I do, I do too much commissions and Patreon sketches. You just you gotta fucking go up against Oolong. You gotta come back every week, and we gotta do this draw off every week. <laughs> uh, sure, sure. Every, <laughs> he every says Friday, sure. every. That'd be wild, honestly. You know, what? you know what? If there's anybody in the world that I would be okay losing against, it's my best friend Oolong. <laughs> it's not gonna make him go easier on you. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, I would rather you wait until Oolong says that himself. <laughs> a battle's a battle. If we're if we are in combat, I need to, I need to bring my A game. I can't disrespect you like that, bro. Oh God, and that's why I love you. That's why I love you. There you go. That, like, that's it. That's why we are bros for life. That's why we got that. That's why we got matching tattoos that say "Bros for Life" and it's pictures of uh, uh the characters from Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> all right let me let me see uh do i have any i'm getting a little more for the villain all right let's just tell you the heroes here i gotta go all the way back all the way back all the way back all right all right i'm almost i'm almost done like i, I got like, <laughs> oh you know what it's a it's gonna be another loss and you know what i'm okay i'm okay with that <laughs> i'm okay with that Cause, you know what? I had a good time. <laughs> you know what? I had fun, and that makes me the real winner. Cube, I'm yeah. so sorry, man. <laughs> oh wait, evil had another one. Ooh. Oh, four. Oh, uh, that's a cat girl. Uh, oh god. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, so counts as a, uh, there's a hero. All right, I've got I've got three minutes. I've still got time. Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. 
Use it. Utilize. Come on, heroes. Come on, heroes. What do you got? Oh, come on, heroes. <laughs> We're down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> oh, 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 another one for bad. Another one for the bad guys. Oh my god, there's so many tangents here around these uh these glasses, but I just got to deal with them cuz we're we're gearing for speed here. Got some nice colors going on there, cube. I'm tr I'm trying. Uh, yeah. Actually, you know what to me this isn't this isn't ghostly enough. You know what you know what's a ghostly color though? Green. Oh, yeah. One, two. Oh, three. Oh. <laughs> Uh, four, five. Oh, that, that's a dog in a giant dog uh, outfit. <laughs> Two. Uh, the monkey, monkey, it's a yes. Dog. It's a dog with another dog. dog. That, that in itself, that's just, that. I mean, that's double the heroism right there. That's just two dogs. Okay. Oh, you know, oh. you know, ther therapy dogs are a big deal. You know, service dogs are a big deal. You know what? They are the real, he everybody. Let's give a hand for dogs. Yeah, let's give a hand for dogs. Okay. Uh, you know okay. what? Oh, I. Oh my God. <laughs> this is this is actually more neck and neck than I thought. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like this is down to the oh this is down to the wire. Oh, okay. It's another bad guy. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, screw it. This is the best I can do with this freaking ghost octopus head exploding character. Screw it. Screw it. I'm just, I'm just gonna post what I got. Did you post what you got yet? Not yet. Not yet. I'm, I'm tallying up. The, that's Jotaro Kujo. I, I don't think he counts. Ah, uh, you can't do that. Come on. <laughs> he come just, on. he's a hero, but he doesn't count. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, all right, all right, all right. That, that that monkey. Okay. All right. I think. Oh wait, no. There's more. There's more. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. All uh, right. Uh, Time's up. Eight thirty. What are we at? What are we at? All right. right. We're at eight thirty. All right. All right. I'll post. Ten twenty. This is my head exploding ghost octopus. <laughs> You guys tied on the fucking hero and villain. I can't believe it. We're tied. <laughs> Hold on, hurry up and hurry up and post your guy. Hope, yeah, hurry up. Oh you yeah, gotta post, post your, your battle. Post your battle design. Oh fuck. <laughs> Oh, Oolong, I asked you to go easy on me, man. Come on. <laughs> we'll give it some time. Oh, Thank you guys for on, showing man. up today. Oh. I can't. I can't believe we hit a fucking hold tie. On. Hold on, hold on. Keep Sona's winning right now. Hold on. Oh, don't you try to fucking lie to me, don't dude? You, try you got to trick forty-seven me. thumbs up, still going up. Forty-eight. Yeah, but I had a head start. Yeah, but I had an unfair head start. Uh, guys, don't vote for me. I'm dishonorable. I had a head start. I cheated. We I must, posted it before him. We must open the next VC. Uh, Ethereum art, Luke Valentine art. The VC is down there and available underneath this one. All right. Um, yep, I, I I hope you guys uh, liked uh, you know this podcast. I hope you guys liked what we had to say about character design, and I hope you guys had fun drawing alongside us. I no hope problem. we entertained you, and I hope you guys learned something. Yeah. 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 Um, shout out! Shout out! Much love. Oh, wait, oh, holy shit, Cube Sona, more... dude, you won this one. Are you? <laughs> you, oh! you fucking blew it oh. up, bro. Look at that. Oh. Oh, so it is a tie in a both fronts. <laughs> it's a tie. Both fronts. A win, a tie, and then a, a a loss for Oolong, and then a loss, a tie, and a win for you, Cube Sona. Well, but... one one more thing, one more thing that I really want to get out of the way before we switch, because we, we really do got to switch VCs. I just want to say, you know, last minute thing. Thank you to Zen and thank you to Newgrounds for giving us this opportunity. I've yes, always yes. wanted to. You know, I've spent a long time in my life, you know, learning this skill, learning how to draw, and I really would love to just help people learn more about it, learn more about this thing that I'm passionate about. And I'm really glad that I got this opportunity to at least, you know, share some ideas with you guys. So thank you so much to Newgrounds and thank you so much to Zinn. I, you know, th this would not have happened without 
you know, heroes like Zen and the New Grounds podcast and all these people. So thank you guys so much. I had a great time today. Holy yeah, shit. Thank you. Thank you, so, man. Thank you for stopping by. We got to have you guys back on. This has been really a treat. Seeing the audience draw so much was was brilliant, too. So maybe we should do this again sometime in the future. Huh? huh? I would be open to it. Yeah. I would be open to it. Yeah. We can do- oh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I feel I feel like since we got so many drawings, I feel like the audience really enjoyed, you know, designing alongside us. So I, I would definitely be okay with more group activities like this. Yeah. But all right. You know, we've got some very talented uh, artists up next. So I am going to, you know, I'm going to bounce. Yeah. All right. Uh, I hope. Yeah. We're going into another champ, folks. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Ethereum.